Hey guys, welcome to the stream. What does this total war mean? Okay, so that's where you declare war on all factions the turn you encounter them and uh, never accept a peace treaty. It's typically considered one of the ultimate challenges in Total War. Um, now, we're back on Warhammer 2. Now, I guess just the first question would be, uh, just predicting it, why do this in Warhammer 2 and not Warhammer 3? For one thing, uh, it is way more challenging to do this in Warhammer 2. The AI is going to throw so much stuff at us in Warhammer 2. If we do this in Warhammer 3, it's honestly not going to be that tough. Okay? Because... Um, the AI just doesn't throw much force at you. And in, in many ways, Imric is even stronger in Warhammer 3 than he is in 2. Anyway, let's jump in here. So, Mortal Empires... It's been a little while since we played this, but this was typically considered to be one of the most difficult campaigns in Warhammer 2. Just standard, because of Snitch. I did do like a 10 turn guide on how to get rid of Snitch early, but it kind of doesn't work with this, because you have to, in order for that you have to declare war on him and attack Flayed Rock straight away. Whereas, we'll have to declare war on him the moment we encounter him. I'm still going to go after Snick straight away. A lot can go wrong here. A lot. Did I do This Is Total War on Imric before? No. I have done This Is Total War campaigns with High Elves. I think I did one maybe three years ago with Teclas, which was challenging, but... Ah, this is... I never wanted to do this. What's the thought behind doing ME versus IE? Alright, so... We... I gathered a lot of feedback from you guys today, I uh, did some polls, and um, the general sort of feedback was Warhammer 3 is not challenging. If I do this in Warhammer 3, I'm not going to struggle. I'm just not. If I do this in Warhammer 2, I might lose. I might actually lose the campaign. Like, this is, this is seriously a difficult challenge. Um... And from what the feedback I got from you guys Behold, is that Prince many of you guys Luke. are bored because um, I don't struggle with Warhammer 3 at all. It's just not, I, neither do you guys. It's not a challenging Total War game. So, let's do this. Alright, what trait did we get? Come on, the winds, winds of Magic. Rising. Okay, it's not, it's not terrible. <sighs> okay, ready? Can the Phoenix King is wise and merciful. The Asur bid you welcome. How can we be of assistance? <laughs> uh, it is agreeable mm -hmm. to spend one's first, time in dignified company, misguided. Come on, just, just, just a little bit, please, just a little bit. No. Uh, Garrett Ratchford did a $5 super chat. Does AI change with the endgame crisis active? Greenskins went from being turtle and cowards, not recruiting any large armies to being suicidal lunatics. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they, they change their tactics a bit with that. Just seeing what I can get out of this. Yes. <laughs> Don't mess with me. What's your message? rather wait a couple more seconds. I don't think there's any deals I can make. Oh well. All are given a fair hearing oh. 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 I'm doing this. <laughs> oh. Come then, messenger. Why should we ally? 
Well, I guess we're not going home anytime soon. The greatest of the dragon princes. Bring them death. For lesser beings. The dragon's rig. <laughs> oh I am their doom. <laughs> oh my god, the buttons are not in the same spot. I gotta be careful on what the I click here. I nearly rising. clicked order resolve. <laughs> that would not be good. We need to fight this manually. Summary execution. Yeah. Alright, let's do this. Uh, Ali NS Gurlek became a new member for two months. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. Alright, here we go. Alright. Alright, let's see. Here we go here. Alright, so first thing, let's waste ammo. Of course! Uh, Matthew Brooks did a $5 super chat. Best of luck, boss. There's roughly a 100% chance this sucks. Look. As long as you guys are entertained, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. If you guys are entertained, that's why I'm doing this. This is my desperate bid to entertain you guys. Doing something I really didn't want to do. But at least I'm playing a game I love. Also, this is so much smoother than Warhammer 3. The f the f I got my frames back. My frame rates are back. Look at that, they're shooting at me, daddy. Will you be going after the unique dragons? Yeah, but not as a priority to begin with. Top priority is get rid of Snitch by turn 7 or whatever. We are hard to entertain, it seems. It just depends. It just depends. Like, you guys know what you want. You want me to be challenged. Warhammer 3 doesn't challenge me, even if I go ultimate in game crisis. So. Also, the constant frame lags and stuff like that is just a pain in the ass. I... This is so much smoother. Uh, Big Acker did a 10 euro super chat. Thank you for playing this campaign. Feels like home. Alright, no, it's my pleasure. Thanks, super chat. If this is what you guys want, then that's fine. Alright, so, Dragon Breaths and Swoops. Here we go. We can take a little bit of damage in this battle and it's fine, so I don't want to cheese it too hard. Hang on, just stay there. What we should do to begin with, I'm... I know it's very easy, to, not very easy, but it's very possible to get a, um, a uh, victory here without taking any damage by utilizing Fireball, Breath Attacks, and Swooping. But, you know, I don't want this battle here to take half an hour. So, what we want to do here is just come up this way, shoot a fireball down the line, because it'll do tons of damage. But it's really important that we get a decisive victory here. Not a Pyrrhic victory, because we need that experience. The f Fuck! What the hell was that? <laughs> What the hell was this? This is National Miss Day. Austin Bernardi did a ten dollar super chat. Total War livestream and Warhammer Two, and Warhammer Two sign me up. Thanks for the super chat. No worries, dude. Thank you for the super chat, indeed. Uh, look, if you guys are entertained, that's all I'm here for. I guess I don't do cheeses too much, but God damn, you need to, you need to hit some of these fireballs. Alright, just 
uh, this up. This is fine. See, that's better. That's much better. Why don't you do that? The dwarfs are too short. Yeah. What do you think needs to change to make the game more challenging? Warhammer 3? Just give the AI cheats. Take away constant minor city sieges. Uh, they said they were going to address it in the next patch, so we'll just see how we go with that. But you guys have made it very clear that there's two main factors why people are getting bored of streams. One, not challenged. Two, sick of the negativity. So... I think we can avoid the negativity by just not playing the game. Still make videos of Warhammer 3. I don't dislike it. Uh, but you know, if you guys aren't interested in it, then that's fine. See, that's much better. Keep doing that. Yeah, that's it. We're getting some good kills there. Alright, start bringing these archers over here. Shoot them up a little bit. How can you fake charge like that? It's called swooping. You can't do it in Worm 3, but you give an attack order to land, and then right before it lands, you uh, give a move order. Ready. Winds of magic rise. Forward. Going abroad. <laughs> It's a little bit finicky. It takes quite a lot of practice to get really good at swooping. I remember the first time I discovered it, I was like, Oh, wow! That can happen! Um, but yeah, it is a it is a finicky technique. Prone to making mistakes. Alright. Yeah, like that. No big deal, though. Prince Lakoi, Soraya. My power is yours. Going abroad. Bring this one over here as well. The Dragon Tamer. Bring death. Done. I will go. I will claim it. They're really going after my archer in this one. Sent by the forge. I seek glory. I oh, sorry, my archer, my um wizard. Wolf one mage. Phoenix Sun. Does swooping work with tic tac toe and swoop? Uh, tic tac toe, no, no, he's too small. You got to have big. Monsters to do it. It works best with that. Like Pegasus, it doesn't work with. Not really. I mean, you technically can do it, but it's beyond tedious. Uh, Brad Simon said, a "Sorry, Simon." Did a final super chat. I hope this is the start of more Worm Two campaigns. Still, IE is fixed. Thank you for the hours of entertainment. All right, thanks, dude. We'll see how we go. I'm not opposed to it, but we'll see how we go. I'm more than happy to play this campaign for like a month if that's what you guys want, or maybe we'll die today. Who knows? Oh shit, biscuits. Following Ethua. Setting forward. Slay them! Wolf one mage. And they are really coming after my wizard. A superior advantage. Locating. Come on, Emmerich, get out of there. It's okay, you can take a little bit of damage, but we don't want to take too much. Here. 
At least the dwarves are tired as well, so it should be fairly easy to outrun them. Uh, Rhett Olsen did a $20 super chat. Hey Legend, I just saw the community post. Wanted to let you know that it's harvest time in the US and a lot of agriculture people like are working in immense hours all week long. Still love your streams and tune in when I can. Alright, thanks dude. Appreciate the feedback. I will take that into consideration. Yeah, a lot of that feedback is that everyone's busy at the moment. That's fine. Like, it, it's impossible for me to know what people's schedules are without you actually telling me. I do appreciate you doing that. Cause yeah, not gonna lie, hit hit the fucking panic button a little bit. Oh, she ended up getting a decent number of kills. In fact, I think she got the most number of kills out of anyone. Alright, they should have no trouble taking out those crawlers there, that's good. Have you played the Mana Lords demo? I did, yes. I was thinking about doing a live stream of it, but here's the problem. That demo has about two to three hours worth of gameplay tops. Right? I, I don't think it makes for good live stream content. I'm sure, like, when it is eventually fully released, it'll actually be a quite a good game, but I don't think it would be interesting to watch that, personally. But yeah, I still might cover it. We'll see how, we'll see how we go. Yeah, I, I just don't know. Just, um. Not exactly exciting to watch. Gotta be getting close to victory now. Wielder of the winds. To battle. The light of Calador. Let's hit him, Rick. I will go. A superior bond. Oop one mage. We away. Fury of the Forge God. Good, another decent charge in from Imric, and there we go, there's the Amulus. Cool. And what do you know, no casualties. And we run them down so that we get more loot money. Every coin counts. Every single coin. Hey Legend, I've been watching you for around four years and I've always liked your streams. It's a shame that you struggle at the moment. Hope you're doing okay. All up. Alright, thanks dude. I, I appreciate that. Yeah, it's just... You know, you, on YouTube you get ups and downs and... It's just, uh, it's just part of the thing. You just gotta deal with it. I know, a lot of people just accept it, but I, I really try to fight hard against the uh, the decline. <laughs> it's just, I just... I, I refuse to let you guys go. I'll fight for your viewership. Even if I have to do a painful campaign like this. I'm guessing you won't be confederating Kalidor. Um, no, you can still confederate Kalidor because it happens via a mission. Yeah, once we um, occupy or sack or raise six settlements, not including this one, um, we should still be able to confederate Kalidor. You, you can be at war with them, it's fine.
They'll thrive under my rule. Imric. Okay, we have to go Root Marcher. That is good. But we have to go Root Marcher, or else we are not going to... We, it'll actually uh, we'll arrive at the other settlement one turn too late. Alright, then just recruit basic archers. I know in my, like, 10 turn guide I said get rangers, but in this situation here I actually need, um, archers. Alright, we need to upgrade this building here, and we need to destroy that. You may this one over here. I love burning heads so much right now, but, um... Yeah, no, I, I don't know. Mm. Alright. Don't upgrade this. Don't bother. Uh, okay, technologies. Yep, get that going. And any new enemies? No. Okay. And here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. On our way to our doom. You should not confederate them since you will meet Marathi and the rest of the elves. I don't know, man. I, I might or might, might not. We'll see. It doesn't matter if I meet them. What are they going to do? Travel all the way over here? I don't think so. They might, actually. So yeah, we can still confederate Kalidor. Alright, we haven't met Clan Eshin yet, but uh, it's gonna happen soon. Alright. Glory awaits. If I send her on ahead, because what we need to do here Great is exactly. recruit. If I send her on ahead, what we can do with her is actually um for one thing save a little bit of money, but also um Search the ruin up here so that we can learn Burning Head. Because one, it won't, yeah. The, yeah, okay, let's do it. My it is a little bit of a risk, but yeah, it saves us a little bit of cash because she doesn't cost as much. Uh, 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 Jacob, oh no, not in this, okay, it doesn't matter. Uh, Jacob Pendergast today, $10 in the chat. Imric seems more focused without Cathay around to harass. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Thanks for the chat, appreciate it. Alright, so don't worry about anything over here. In fact, I may even need to destroy this. I don't think we're going to hold on to it forever. Um, but we'll see how we go. We need to build walls here straight away. Because there will eventually be a revolt. Eventually. Don't upgrade this. Because we need enough money you to continue upon. recruiting. Once we have discovered um, them, we need to... Hang on. I'll go with this, actually. Oh, I've already lost my train of thought. <laughs> Never mind. Moving on. Take your coffee resource to save money. Mm, it's negligible. I'm pretty sure it's only like 50 gold. and I might forget about it. I, I need him on his horse. Like, you're not wrong, but I'm very much prone to forgetting to putting him back on. By the White Tower. Alright, this will discover um Eshin. Dragon Prince. Witness my stride. Yeah, that'll definitely discover Eshin. Oh, we didn't discover them. Okay. So they've either occupied the settlement or they've blown it up. One or the other. Um Hopefully they've occupied it. If they blow it up, it actually could end up being real bad for us. But uh, this is this is the army that we're going in with. I won't be able to get any more troops. <laughs> it's, it's, this is very scary, by the way, to do this. Very scary. Um, with dark hold, just just leave it. Okay, and let's move on. 
Uh, Tim Playson said a $10 super chat. Thanks for all the knowledge on Warhammer 2 and Warhammer 3 that you've given us. Has greatly enhanced my ability uh, to enjoy these games. Simple super chat. Appreciate you. No worries, dude. Appreciate that. Thanks, super chat. I don't think you take him off his horse. Oh, you definitely can take him off his horse. You definitely can. Mage. Okay, so if I go... I hope we don't get assassinated. It sucks so much. It is it is a big risk. Moving. <laughs> they occupied it. Okay, that's fine. Spellcaster. I bring pain. We've death. met them now, so I have to declare war. <laughs> you are bold. Just yes. I hear the Kadaif. So we search the ruin. Doesn't actually cost us anything, but it will give us a level up. I have the skill. And that level up is needed for the burning head. Now. Strategy beyond compare. Now, now, now. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> oh, god. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this bit. All right. So looking at uh, Noel. Oh, hang on. Devil's Triangle. Again, man, for 28 months. Hope you'll have a good stream today. All right, thanks, dude. Uh, Noel Free Shell became a new member. Thanks, dude. And Apple Juice became a new member. Thanks, guys. Thanks for the support. Appreciate Prince you. All right, so we need to be standing not in ambush dance, but in an en in camp stance. It is unlikely that they will come over here and attack us. Enough for today. Next turn, we'll be able to uh, come over here and. Um, yeah, we'll just, we'll just see how we go. But we gotta get to Flayed Rock. I feel an ambush coming. No, 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 I'm marching in, in the stance. Oh, he's coming. If we're in an encamp stance, he should have a 0% chance of ambushing us. We will stop this plague. Listening. Belief protects me. The dragon shall wake. Be ready for anything. Now from right here, we should be able to reach Flayed Rock next turn. Now if you have a look at the strength ranking, we're equal to him. So as long as he doesn't ambush us, if we have a look here, it's 40% base chance. So he needs he needs like 50% ambush success chance. Plus 50 Oh man, I'm not sure what the actual maths Orders. is. Ladriel, grant me your sight. <laughs> this is Oh, this is so nerve-wracking to like Can go watch, near yeah. snitch like this. Snitch. But if he doesn't go back to Flayed Rock, it's actually not so bad. But let's just see what happens here. Because the AI's got balls in Warhammer 2. The AI's got balls. Alright, because yeah, we'll make it there next turn. Let's see what happens. Hang on, did I declare war on everyone? Yeah. Here we go. It's so nerve-wracking, because this is... Oh no, he doesn't want to do it. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Okay. Alright. At least we're not getting ambushed. No loss run? <laughs> I don't think I will so. Rouse not, not with this campaign. We'll see how we go. Alright. Um, Flayed Rock? Summary execution. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Flayed Rock. I am their doom. Damn. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> the thing is, buckle yourselves in, guys. I know how to win. At least he's on Force March. That is that is gonna help us a bit.
All right. I hope you're ready because this stream is going to be entirely this battle, pretty much. <laughs> it's going to take a while. What if I make enough of a mistake? Enough of a mistake. It's ruined. The whole campaign will be ruined. If we lose the dragon, we're doomed. Okay, you guys said you wanted me to challenge myself. Here you go. Are you not entertained? Oh, we have reduced wins reserves. They must have a knowledgeable character in here. All right, there will be one menace below. Behold the majestic. Ready. Prince Imric. Prince Imric. <laughs> You know what? It's been a while since I've felt this much pressure in a stream. Oh, it's been a while. All right. Just waiting on that menace below. Pretty sure they've got a menace below. Yeah, here it comes. Don't worry, they don't have whoop bomb. Following as you are. Calling the winds. Ten winds of magic. As opposed to five. Okay. All right. So first things we got to do, we have to get rid of missile units like the night runners. That we, we can't be dealing with that shit. Use our archers three at a time, but just be careful of this tower here. I seek glory. Crown Prince moving. Alright, okay, well. Here we go. Here we go. Time to bring out the cheese gloves. Feel pressured by what? If I okay, so if I lose this, the campaign is lost already. <laughs> This is like a Hail Mary that you do at the beginning of your Imrit campaign, where you just beeline straight for Snitch. And if you win in this situation here, it, um... It doesn't make it easy, but it, uh... It, it definitely gives you some comfort. Alright, so, like I said, archers need to be focusing just on Night Runners, not on, like, Skaven Slaves. Night Runners and Gutter Runners, all that kind of shit. The thing is with the Night Runners, they're armor piercing, so they'll kill the dragon really quickly if we're not careful. Uh, Pierre V did a 10 year sub chat. Good luck for the Battle Legend. Hope you have fun. Alright, thanks, dude. I appreciate that. I'm sure we'll have fun one way or another. It's hmm, playing high off music. There's no way that that's correct. Uh, it's probably because their reinforcements came in before this track ended. Maybe. I don't know. Save archer ammo and waste rat ammo. I can't waste the night runner's ammo. They're they're too short range. I can't waste it. It's a good idea, but I, I can't. They and also they would absolutely wreck any of the characters. It's not worth it. Pandepic became a new member. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the support.
Tristina, Tristanitis did a two pound super chat. Hope you enjoy this campaign, maybe even finish it. Well, it depends on what you mean by finish it. Like, do you mean full map completion? We'll, we'll see. But, yeah. Thanks for super chat. Alright, we got some Skaven Slave Slingers. Those ones there are not that much of a concern, but I'm still going to shoot them. Any kind of missile unit needs to be sorted out. That's why we wanted to make sure we had the burning head. Uh, Julian Young did a two pound super shit uh, actual challenge. I've missed this. Best of luck. Alright, thanks dude. Appreciate the support. Oh yeah, they're still bringing in reinforcements. Because they've got more than 40 units and we don't even have a full stack. So what'd she end up doing? 128 kills, 13,000 damage from that burning head. That's pretty good. Did burning head the other way so it bounces? Why? Why do I need to bounce it? Oh, I see. You know, start it that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe. Just wait until they get set up again. Alright, so then they've got another Skaven Slave Slinger coming in. But yeah, all missile units need to be uh, shot at. That's what our ammunition's for. We can deal with the melee units fairly easily. Oh, they've got quite a few Skaven Slave Slingers. Might seem like a bit of a waste of our bounce power to shoot at these units, but like I said, the dragon, we're gonna rely on this really heavily. Hang on, here we go, here we go. So you reckon, you reckon do it this way. Yeah, this could work. Fucking, it went the wrong way. Oh, but then it bounced the right way again. That's a problem with burning heads sometimes, though. Yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. We should bounce it. That did a lot of kills. Regnia575 did a two-pound super chat. Yes, Wormer2. Glad it's back. Went back myself. All right, no worries, dude. Thanks, super chat. Model Empires' this campaign was hell. This is considered one of the most difficult campaigns in Warhammer 2. And that's not even with a This Is Total War campaign. Doing it This Is Total War is considered nigh impossible. Not impossible, but nigh impossible. Oh, what's that? The archers don't go running into melee after they've used up all their ammo? Hmm, interesting. Wonder... I wonder why. Two units of uh, I've used up their ammo. Nearly three. It's okay. Now this time, oh, <laughs> they moved out of the way. It's okay. That's okay. We got time. Don't you do that this time? Oh my god! It went the other way. Fuck, this spell can be annoying sometimes. Take 
Uh, burning head is very powerful, but fuck, it's unreliable. Still done a lot of damage, but oh, it's such an unreliable spell. There we go. That one's going the right direction. Nice. When it goes the right way, it's good. There we go. And then go back and burn them again. 36,000 damage. We've used up a decent amount of our reserves now. Alright. I'm not seeing any missile units over here, which means... It's swooping time. Now, when they get into a big clump, like that. Wait, wait for a bigger one. Like this over here. Oh, yeah. Nice. This is going pretty well so far. Just watch out for the night runners over there. Time to play some Super Mario. Smash some Goombas. Give me a coin. Ah, uh, what's shooting at us? What's shooting at us? This game saves lingers. Okay, not that big of a deal. Swooper Mario, that's it. Archers? Sight on. Hear me. <laughs> Back to the enemy magic. Prince Imric. Should we run? Please. Okay, no more casting until we're at 30 wins of magic. Using the old superior method of generating wins. Alright, there's a missile unit that's made its way over here, so we need to deal with that. Okay. Oh, no, we got hit. Alright, so, so far Sun Dragons killed 161 out of several thousand that it will need to get. A Dragon Breath is optimal when casted from max range to increase it, the area hits. Yep. It totally is, but sometimes the opportunity is only going to be there for a few seconds. So sometimes you need to take the shot. But you're absolutely right, the longer range, the better. But at the same time, blobbity blobs are really good to aim for. And this is why we even this is why we got to shoot even the Skaven Slave Slingers, because they, they can do damage to dragons. Snitch eliminated if he wins this. He's got another settlement. 
But this is where Snitch is, so... And all of his armies, so if we win here, it's a big deal. Okay. Yeah, we use the archers to get rid of any missile units that come over here and uh, annoy our dragon. And then the dragon takes out the chaff for free because using missile units on Skaven slaves, it's just a complete waste of ammo. Complete waste. Obviously, killing these rats just one at a time is a pain. Okay, just wait. More of them are coming. Oh no! No, 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 uh, Lucas Bruggen Man. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Okay, man, maybe. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. There, 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 there. Right in there. There. There it is. There it is. Oh, daddy. Oh, daddy! Thingy Malju did a 329.99 Zara super chat. Cheese for the cheese god. Engagement for the algorithm. If only CA added AI aggression slider to Warhammer 3. Let players balance it for themselves since they can't seem to get it right. Yep, I get I get you, dude. Appreciate that. Lujo did a $100 super chat with no message. Thanks, dude. That's very generous of you. I appreciate that. Thanks for the support. Tony Pulkinen did a 5 euro super chat. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. Um, I'm taking you guys a like of the campaign. <laughs> yes. Yeah, very generous of you guys. Appreciate it. Although, yeah. It's a red super chat, so, you know, I've just contracted Ligma. No, I'm just kidding. That, that joke is old. Abusive gameplay. <laughs> oh shit. So uh, yeah, well, I mean we've cleared out a fair oh shit. Fair few so far. Damn, I lost an archer. Mm, can't get at these ones over here from that distance. Where are they going? Looks like they're coming over here. You've been changing campaigns daily now? What's up? Well, I've been trying to find something that works. Um, that's why. Gotta find something you guys actually want to enjoy. I actually do enjoy me. Sometimes I'll start a campaign, you guys just dine into it. So I gotta can it. Sometimes an idea just isn't isn't good. So I'm not gonna sit there and, you know, play a campaign that people aren't interested in for five episodes just because I have to do it for five episodes. It's just how it is. This is total one sixty minute battle timers. Ah. But Here's the thing, dude. Here's the thing. Did you know that there is a cheese with timers? Did you know that? If if we had a timer, right, what we could do is fight the battle, use up all of our ammo, use up all of our ability, use up all of our magic, timer runs out. You get a draw, right? And then you withdraw from the siege, and then you can re-attack it again. So if I put the timer on this battle, it's actually easier. <laughs> It's actually easier with a timer. Now here's the thing, without a timer, if I withdraw, we lose the battle. We lose our movement, we, we, we withdraw, we get fucking ambushed by Snitch. 
So we have to win in this situation. Whereas if we had a timer, we can draw. Why Warhammer 2? I'll do you one better. Wha who Warhammer 2? Uh, Lighting Moo did a five dollars super I'm a new member. New member. Been watching your streams for about a week now. Thanks for all the content and advice. Best of luck this campaign. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate that. Uh, welcome to the channel. Alright, let's bloody slave and slaves. Alright, dragon's still in good shape. But yeah, every time they bring a missile unit over here, I, I need my units to clear it out. Where Warhammer 2? Yeah, who who Warhammer 2? I kind of wish they'd bring up their like gutter runners up here though, because those are way more valuable than Skaven Slave Slingers. We want to be taking out their high val- oh come on man, get organized. Take out their high value targets. Okay, Shattered, that's as good as dead. Good. I just hope you guys know that my reflexes are so fast that if you give me any question, it will not go over my head because I will catch it. <laughs> no questions go over my head. Reflexes are too fast. Good, shattered. That's what we want to see. Not coming back. Not as good as the other ones we've done, but you know they've been thinned out a fair bit now. All right, that's all my breath attacks. Skating slave thing is coming in. Be here anymore, Daddy. I don't want to be here anymore. Up, fly, fuck it. Okay, go. A little bit of damage. It happens. It happens. Here's the question, I wonder if the ritual to 25% XP bust was available for battle. Um, I don't think so, but even if we did, we gotta keep in mind we're playing Warhammer 2 here, not Warhammer 3. Um, if I get a decisive victory here, it's still, it's only worth a thousand experience. It, it, I'm not getting experience based on the number of stuff I kill, that's in Warhammer 3. So, while you, that's a good point, um, it wouldn't have made that big of a difference. Because at the end of the day, if we manage to win this, We'll probably get a lot of other battles. Eh, I don't know. Yeah, the experience would be good here. Yeah. Reflexes weren't quick enough for that. Hey, I got out of there. It's all about the timing. The timing's difficult to get right.
Oh man, it's some derpy frame in there. I think it's because they're blowing up a little bit. No, 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 no. No damage so far, I think. Move, 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 move. I'm taking any damage. Out of my way! Out of my way. Alright, any missile units up here? No. Alright, we gotta get six more wins of magic before we cast any more burning heads. Then we get three more, and then that's it. Which I reckon I can get another two or three hundred kills out of that. No reason to stop doing this in the meantime. Although let's get uh, let's see let's see let's see let's see let's see let's get Imric over here and start bashing down the gate. I prefer the XP gain system or one or two or three. I should prefer it in three. Three makes more sense. Not everything about Total War Warhammer 2 is better than three. And a lot of things about three are definitely better. But um, I think the core issue is the AI in Warhammer 3. It is just really bad. Really, really bad. And also minor city sieges. People look we're very vocal about how much they really get sick of minor city sieges. Come on, gotta give me more kills than that. Move, 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 move. So far, no damage. Okay, I took a little bit. Is the A not shit in Warhammer 2 too? It is shit in Warhammer 2, but it is more shit in Warhammer 3, <laughs> if that makes sense. There are degrees of shit, you know? Not all shit smells the same. Some shit is, like, tolerable. Some shit is not. I wonder how many kills we're going to have to end up getting with this dragon. Maybe like a thousand? I think this is really tricky to do when sped up. You can do it, but it is tricky. Uh, let me just reform that. That might help a little bit. So good. Yeah, it's definitely. I think it might actually be OBS that's doing it. Sure. Because recording software uses up a lot of bloody processing power. I think people forget that sometimes. Yeah, so if you end up landing, you don't just want to turn around in a 180. Um, you want to guide them around because turning around, they like have a specific animation for that and where they stand still. Whereas if you guide them and like t keep moving, they'll uh, push everything out of the way. Man, 
Alright, three more wins of magic before we get some more burning head going. How are we going over here? What the fuck? <laughs> I thought he was bashing that down. It's alright, it's not urgent for that. Oh god, there's shit in there. Yeah, yeah that's it. It's the rat bodies, disable corpses, last band, you're good. Last time we did this, it crashed the game. So, you're right. You're absolutely right. I should have done it before the battle, though. But last time I did this, in this sort of situation, I crashed the game. I don't want to start again. So, I'm just going to have to put up with it. Changing the graphic option, mid-battle, is a risky move. But you are right. That would, that would really improve the frame rate. I'm just gonna have to tolerate it. One more wins of magic, and then I'm sure we can get a good burning head and all that. But keep blobbing up. Sans Pure 91 did a chill as we chat. Thanks for Wormer 2. Hope all is well. Alright, thanks, dude. No worries. Uh, yep, yeah, that's fine. Thanks for the chat. Just uh, doing my best to make sure that you guys are entertained. That's the main thing. And you guys love swooping. What, what's... No, don't... Don't open the gate. And don't you dare open that gate. One more wins. Because we got to get three casts. If I do it now, I'm not going to get three casts. Them kills. There it is, there it is. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh yeah. Holy yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that makes up for that first one fucking up. It's actually the second one. Yeah, double whammy. <laughs> Bounced it back. That gets rid of a lot of that shit. Uh, Hippie did a fight with some chat. Swoop to win. Cheese for the cheese god. No, Zoo, thanks to the chat. Appreciate you. The another one has. Swept more than the show up. That bloody stain right there. Wait for those better opportunities. I want to see if I can get her a thousand kills. No more recharge right left now. It doesn't mean we have to cast right now. Oh, 
coming back. Yeah, one of the great things about using Burning Head as well is that it causes a morale debuff, getting rid of the, uh, the low morale Skaven. Alright, and does a little bit of damage. Just a little bit. Good thing the Eshin Triads aren't here. Out of my way. Out of my way, rats. Out of my way! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Oh, this looks interesting. This looks interesting. Uh, it is... Not that... I'm gonna take it. And there's the thousand kills that got heaps. And then we ah, the bounce wasn't quite as good. Okay, I've still got one more cast left. Good shit. Alright, it makes just about to break through that. Alright, now what I want to save the last cast for, start bringing these guys around over here. That's right, without having used up all of our ammo, we're going to start to go inside the city. Just got to get rid of all this garbage here. I'm not going to waste ammunition on it. If I'm not mistaken, you can cast it at any range. Right, yes, you're absolutely right, except for the fact that I've opened the gates now, which has disabled that from happening. But yes, I could have casted it at any range. Alright, so what we want to do here with that last cast is try to get like a fight happening at the gate, get them to all clump up around it and get one last really good cast in, and then start grinding them down with the white lions and the spearmen. And if any of their, um, like, missile units come over here, that's what the archers are for to try to get rid of them. That's why we haven't used up their ammo fully yet. Because I got one cast left, and I really want to make it, you, make it, uh, get worth it. White Lions! Can't wait for the white lines to get wrecked by clan rats. Yeah, they're not going to trade great for it, but the whole point of it is just to keep them pinned down. Here we go. We away. Here we go. Taking position. Didn't realize it until just then. Swiftly. March. White lions. Yeah, look at this. The white lions have taken a casualty, but they haven't inflicted one. How dare they? Dragon Prince. Uh, I don't know if I really want Imrek fighting here. I will claim it. Behold as I march. Right. Here we go. Spicy meatballs. And then route them. To victory! Fury of the Forge God! 
in Wall's name. The Dragon Tamer. Could you use a dragon to fight the rats up on the wall? I could, but there's not much value in that. Uh, King Sorrow did ten dollars jet. Hey, legend, love the streams. How's Wormer Three been treating you? Uh, not great, but thanks for super chat. <laughs> not great. I need a break from it. It's too easy. Needs needs to be more challenging. Needs to be a bit more punishing. You know, without having to rely on the end game crises, which is not a good game mode. Okay, don't have to worry too much about the warp grinders. They don't use their abilities in Warhammer 2. They do in Warhammer 3, though. Prince Speaking of which, we, will obey. we should probably shoot it when it gets in range. What happened to the triads? I don't recall getting rid of them. Some kills there now. Archers for duty. We go. Okay, landing them on them here. Oh, it's kind of flanking it. Because, yeah, for some reason, dragons don't provide the leadership debuff until they actually land. It seems. This is flying units in general. Careful where you're shooting that. Okay, if it's broken, that's good enough. Now guys are doing okay here. This is working, this is working. Hammer and anvil using infantry and a dragon. These damaged ones here make it easier for us to get rid of them. And don't forget, if they route three times, they shatter. That's it. When they land, cause leadership debuff. Prince Imric. Blessed by Vol. Kills. Dragon Prince is getting killed. <laughs> yeah, there was like a rat behind it. So, thanks, dude. Thanks. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Get over there. Got distracted. Princess, we go! Prince Imric! 
Not so good, I think. Kind of weird. We haven't really used up much of our archer's ammo yet. But saving it for later. Nice big route here. Get get away from that. All right, now. I'm going to start trying to bring in an archer unit one at a time. I'm going to start gaining control of this area. Because I need to use my archers to take out the night runners. Win the Dragon Quest battles? Uh, sure, if it's convenient. It's not on my to-do list, though. It's not, like, essential. Nothing wrong with the wizard coming in and fighting as well if they're only fighting Skaven slaves. What's this? Night Runners. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Need to get rid of that right now. Need to get rid of that right now. That thing is dangerous as hell. Don't let that thing shoot at us. Dragon Prince! Archers! Forward! Dragon My Dragon Princes. Princes are getting a bit damaged here. Maybe try to pull them out. Imric's okay. The uh, melee infantry is a bit worn out. It's okay, I don't mind if they get wiped out in this battle. Looks like my spearmen are about to have enough. I need to either get them out of here or... Don't know how much longer they're going to last in here. Fuck. This went in here, fight the night runners. Damn it, they went routed. White Lions will probably be next. But still, it did a lot of damage. This has worked out fairly well so far. I need you in here and help out. Uh, Tivalek did a 10 dollars super chat. Only been here a couple of minutes, and I can tell you you're enjoying the campaign, gameplay more than the last few campaigns. Enjoy the Flambe Rat. Okay. Flamboy? I don't know how that sounds. Thanks, super chat. Appreciate it. <laughs> Oh, there's the Eshin Triads. Shit. Get it out of there. Forward. Moving out. Archers. For duty. 
Uh, Bastion Shkon, di sorry, Bastion Shkon did a 20 euro subject. Woohoo, great. I just found via this via Twitter. Gonna watch it later tonight. Have to work now. Keep it up. Thanks a ton. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. Sorry about pausing the battle, guys, but, uh... This is shit lots. Alright, losing the, um... Losing them is not that big of a deal. They, they did their worth. Where are you? You're back out there. That's good. Okay, now we gotta get Imrik out of here. As you say, it will be done. Advance! Oh no, gutter runners come over here. At least that one sort of got out of there. It's not wiped out. Don't know about the uh, white lions. I don't know if they're going to make it. Um, Imrik is still out here fighting, but he's stuck. He needs an evac. Rallied. Yeah, you're down for this battle. Just come stand over here. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to save those white lions. They're really stuck. Come on, guys. You got to get organized here. Everyone get out of the fuck. Sorry, the uh, stream just cut out for a second there. <laughs> Bad timing. Hey, come on. Everyone's just really disorganized because we were really having to move around a lot. Damn, just can't get good angles in here. Trying to save as much as I can the um, the white lines, but I don't think I can. Emrick has just about provided enough cover for these guys to get away, maybe. Like, as far as I'm concerned, they're done in the battle, but I might be able to save the unit, maybe. The archers are all obviously shooting our own troops a little bit. Let me stop. Are those the um, Eshin triads? Or did I get rid of them? Alright, we got uh, we got this over here. Did they manage to get out? Yeah, they managed to get out. Okay. Good. For the most part. Enough of them got away that as long as they don't get shot by towers, they should be okay. Triads on the wall. Thanks, dude. Thanks, 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 thanks. Yeah. All right, we got out. We got out. We got out. Okay, that was obviously a massive slaughter fest, but you know, we we got the better of them. I think they'll rally. All right, Eshin Triads need to die. I think they'll rally. Friendly fire there if we're not careful. 
moving out. Wielder of the winds, the greater good. Loyal. It will be done. It will be done. Okay, well that was that was something. I don't know if that's going to rally. That was something. All right, well there's not much left. Get out of there. At least there's not that much left. Hey, Imric, go and rally them because that's bounce of power loss if they leave the battlefield. Rick actually needs to stay right next to them for the foreseeable moment. Come on, Imrik's there. Imrik's there. Rally. Oh, you shame the Phoenix Throne. Shameful. I lost track of what was going on over here. Are those gutter runners still up on the wall? It looks like it. No, those are triads. Still worth getting rid of. Still think that they're here. Okay, it doesn't look like it. Alright, it's a lot harder to swoop on the wall like this. Oh, for fuck's sake, that damn tower. Alright, runner's on the way. Imric should have no trouble fighting the Night Runner slings in melee. Gotta watch out for the Gutter Runners, they're actually way more dangerous because they can fire while moving. Don't even bother wasting ammo on that, it's not really good in melee. Okay, just come in here and help out with swoops. We haven't seen Snitch yet either. Probably sitting inside the town square. Three hundred kills on the Dragon Princes. Behold the majestic. Prince Imric. All right. Let's bring in the Dragon Princes. Move. Archers. Ancestors. Locating. Yeah, them shooting at us is a problem. For the dragon. Dragons, dragons, dragons. Reminds me of that um, video from Tariff. Every time he says dragons. Dragon princes! Glory is mine! I am running out of ammo. But it's consistently playing high off music now, so that's something I gotta be grateful for.
Prince Imric. Understood. So I slave and gave enslaved spears, so that shouldn't be a problem for the dragon princes there. Come on, give me some backup. Uh, Jera Wells did I ten dollars super chat saying dragon? Yep, please some chat dude, appreciate it. There's a charge there because they were not braced. Alright, there's only six Eshin triads left. I reckon if we land on them, they'll just route anyway. Just a few bits of trash over here now, really. Alright, let's bring in the archers that have used up their ammo and think about using them as like really garbagey melee infantry Quickly because now. at least they're going to be better in melee than Skaven Slave Spears, I hope. Uh, they got a whole bunch of heroes over here. Go look into that in just a little bit. Would be good if we could fight this and win it without even having to engage with Snitch, but I'm not sure if we're going to be able to do that. Yeah, you can swoop while they're on the wall. It's just a little bit tricky. Just going to do a bit of a scout around, see what else is out here. I think we got rid of all the gutter runners, but I'm just not 100% sure. There's Snickerdoodle. Let's see if I can swoop on him. Typically speaking, swooping heroes is not great. But it worked! We got a swoop on him. So what's going on over here? We got two wizards. Imric should have no trouble fighting them. I can't seem to swoop them. Uh, Cream Carpet did a five pound super chat. Just seen your poll. I uh, wanted to say that it's mainly the negative from a lot of streamers and community chats that get a bit meh for me. Just me though. No, that's okay. That's not just you. I get it. I understand. Thanks for super chat. Appreciate it. Not doing anything. Like I said, a little bit tricky to swoop with them. There's another three hour swoop battle? No, it's just a one hour swoop battle. Looks like we're approaching the back end of it. Did that work? Yeah, it did. It did. Yeah, Snitch is taking damage from this. Got a lot of physical resistance. It's working, we're swooping him. It's, it's working! It's actually working. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, he has a potion. I think he fucking got a potion of healing already. 
Well, shit. Easy come, easy go, I guess. <laughs> Son of a bitch! Okay, no, we're okay. Alright. Maybe, maybe just be careful about what we're doing here. Alright, alright, alright. Let's have a look. Uh, let's have a look. I guess what I could do is send these guys here up on the wall with the dragon and just get rid of these last few melee infantry with, with them. Rather than waste ammunition on garbage. Because Imrit can't get up on the wall, obviously. Uh, and these two, I guess they could go around here and go and fight them as long as Snitch stays out of it. Should be okay. Behold the majestic! Because they're only wizards. Unless there's something I'm standing around here. <laughs> I Fucking gutter runner instantly kills me. I think, glory. I think I think we're done with that shit. I think it's just the heroes remaining. So killing them should cause the army losses. I'll bring the dragon back over as well. And Snitch should stay in the the town square. Should. Slay them. How are the high elves in Warhammer 3? I I don't find them fun. It will be done. Prince Imric. Witness me. No! No, 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 no. I forgot that that can do that. We go! Quickly now! Glory be! Weapons ready! We won't do any damage to them. They <laughs> just keep knocking them down. Oh my god. Yes! I uh, got hit, but we won. <laughs> Fucking hell. A glorious challenge. Eradicate them! Understood. What a battle. Prince Imric. Yeah, I would hope so. Game crash. <laughs> I bet it not. And no units got wiped out there. Cool. All right. Well, let's loot and occupy because that'll give us some replenishment rate, and I need some money. Tribute is owed. 
Alright, now Snitch is wounded, but he can come back. We're not we're not done with him yet. Because they've still Oh my god, they have three lords. Another triumph for the dragon. Oh! <laughs> nice. Stole your fucking potion of healing, bitch! What do I get here? Uh not right now. Greatest of the dragon princes. Prince of Calador. Yeah, one experience. Man, this UI is so much nicer to look at than Warhammer 3. Holy shit. Alright, well yeah, yeah, okay. So, um what do we need here? What do we need? Turn off corpses? It was just for that one battle. It's just for that one battle. We're good now. Um, no dragon spam at turn 6, what the fuck? Yeah, I know, right? Okay, dragon horn is good, but it's also good to get lightning strike into this Soda War campaign, so let's work towards that. Um, yeah. So what do I need for invocation of Eldrazor? After winning three battles, right. Did back Rose was high elves? No. Strategy. Beyond. Yeah, growth seems like the better option there. Okay, I fully expect to lose Darkhold, but let's let's build some defenses here because may, maybe I can hold it. Just maybe. Alright, now I'm going to get rid of this. No, not yet. No, yeah, because if I... I was just thinking about nobles, but all I have to do is get to rank 12 and I'll just recruit them. So don't worry about that. Alright, cool. Do I have I go to declare war on anyone else? Let's have a look. Crown Prince. No. Um cool. Okay. That's a start. That's a start. That's a start. Okay, oh yeah, we should probably recruit more units. Okay, so let's get Archery Prowess. Yep. And don't have tons of money. The council is disappointed. If that's all they've got left, and we're in pretty good... Yeah, we're not going to be able to get there next turn. Um, I've only got enough money to maintain upkeep costs for one more unit, so I'm just going to hold off for the time being. See if we can try to increase our income a little bit first. Maybe I'll get a trade agreement. Alright, I'm done here. Moving on. About the poll earlier, do you think Wormit 3 being too buggy is an issue as well? It's so buggy that I don't like to play it. Um, I think it's a combination of things with that. I think I think people will uh, have different issues with it. Oh, they left me under siege. They've got another settlement. This is fine. It's fine. That's on Force March. This is a good way to get a whole bunch of victories. Get rid of the white lines of crap. Mm, they did a good job in that battle. Let's, 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 let's Stay outside the settlement. Nah, no, I mean, yeah, but nah. No, it's alright. We, we, yeah, yeah, you're not wrong. It'll be okay. The dragon shall. Wait. I Wait, they've got another settlement, back. right? Oh, I thought they had two settlements. Oh. Oh, this is the end of them. You may look upon me. Oh. I I thought that they had another settlement. This is this is the end of them. Okay. Well, that's fine. That's good. I didn't I didn't realize they had no more settlements. You're absolutely right. I should have stayed outside the settlement. But we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Uh this is the end of Eshin. So what we want to do here is uh, try to get as many battles as we can out of this. So, if we auto resolve it, we'll wipe them all out. This one's dead anyway, so we'll fight it manually. That way, we can use the potion of healing, and um, that way, this one here can survive, so that we can attack it again, so that I can get more experience. Because we need to level up Imric as quickly as possible. The fact that there's so many lords hanging around here is actually really helpful. Yeah, we could get quite a few levels up here. Level on the mage? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's not going to matter in this battle. 
Alright, keep all the damaged units out of it. Because, um... Oh, they will probably have a menace below. Um... I should just... Oh, I can't withdraw them. But I can't hide them. No, I can't. That's not actually trees. You can tell from the map. Prince Emric. I will claim it. But that potion of healing is definitely going to come in handy. Especially when he's on his dragon. Don't kill this lord here. Just escort him off the battlefield. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Because otherwise... I, otherwise I can't kill him later. Just escort him off the battlefield. took a beating in this battle. Shit. Maybe okay, if I fight the, the battle next one, Manny Lake can heal a fair bit. Good old potion of healing. So the reason why I ran it down, even though it's on Force March, is just loot money. So yeah, we didn't want to wipe it out, because right now, experience is golden. I need to get as much as of, of it as I can. Uh, and then we uh, we go fight those Greenskins. And then as soon as we do that, we'll encounter Malice, who I'll have to declare war on. Why Warhammer 2? When Warhammer 2? How Warhammer 2? Enter this at the side of the stream, just rewind it. Okay, and then I could go with this, but that'll lower our casualty replenisher rate, which I don't think is a good idea. I will take the unit experience. I cannot. Good. Alright, that's good. And now we've got the invocation of Eldrazor, which will cost us 1,500, but will give us... 25% extra armor piercing. No, experience gain plus 50% for lords and nobles. Maybe I do it again for another 30 turns, though. So we're not level 4 at the moment. Yeah, I think it's worth it. Experience is everything here. Crown Prince. Kalidor wakes. Warrior Supreme. Alright, I gotta fight it manually so that I can go and heal. Do you think Wormit 3 would benefit from having larger factions in late game like Wormit 2 has? Yeah. Well, they, they do that through end game crises. Prince Imric! The dragons roar. There you go. Come on, Emrick. Good stuff. Uh, already asked, 
ask, but does Total War Campaign can confer other legendary laws? Yeah, you can, but you still have to declare war on them when you encounter them. You have to, in order to confederate them, you have to peace treaty and ask for a confederation at the same time. Typically speaking, it is a lot more difficult to get a confe uh, confederation in, um... This is Total War Campaigns. Good, lots of experience there. And now we have a much lower chance of being ambushed. No, need my warp token stash. Yeah, so we should be able to fight this guy twice. The Oath Keeper. Before I do that, this let me just have a look over here. Mess with me. All right, they're as strong as us, but what's likely to happen is them jumping in over here. God, they've they've already taken this. Damn, that was the AI in Warhammer 2 is way faster at conquest than in Warhammer 3. Like in Warhammer 3, they just dragged. That would have taken them like 30 turns. Master of Drakes. Can't instantly switch the items around either. All right, gotta fight it manually because we gotta get them victories. Once again, Emric can handle this all on his own. Doesn't need anyone else. And the next battle should be auto-resolvable. Yep, that was it. Which is stronger on his horse, Imric or Tyrion? I'd say Tyrion. Does shooting the summons any more loot money as well? No. Nah. Cool, another item as well. And we get, I think I gained, did I gain two levels up there? What if, what if? No, you no. Fail, failed. What if I let it live? <laughs> Another turn. Two levels up, nice. Alright, let's get public order and draft master. Cool. So that's a ruin over there. This is not a good opportunity to go and ruin dwell that. You know, with this kind of replenishment. I don't think so. Rejoices. Uh, yeah, just take it out. This could be order resolvable, I think. Imric gains plus 40 bonus loss of larger on his source though. Um, okay, that's great. These fools have no chance. That's good, for sure. Oh, it feels good to get rid of Eshin. Yeah, ruining dwelling this right now is silly. Absolutely silly. As it was meant to be. Strategy beyond compare. Okay. So, there will probably be a revolt over here. No, there will definitely be a revolt. You may look upon me. Um, maybe I shouldn't have looted it. <laughs> well, at least Eshin can't come back. Alright, but we need to make the most of these 10 turns here and just try to get Imric as leveled up as possible while not dying. Okay, so there's Lightning Strike. We definitely need that. 
cool. I really need a noble for um, replenishment and emollient. Untaxed flayed rock. Um. It was never no, because I'm gonna need the recruit slots. No, I'm not because I don't think I'm gonna recruit anything. Another triumph for the dragon. All right, I need you to scout ahead a little bit. Setting forth. The leaf protects me. We don't have any followers Loyalty for public order, do we? No. The people all right. Are all right, all right, all right. Well, we've got to figure this out now. Let's have a look. So, yeah, I can afford one more unit all in the army, rejoices. I guess. I guess. That'll be built next turn. But they could also be an attack next turn. I have no idea. There's no... They're not sitting... They're raiding their own region. And they've got two armies. That's where that minus six is coming from. Um, Prince of Calador. All right, I will untax it because I'm not going to recruit Pride that much, also. and I'm just going to recruit one unit. Okay, I haven't met anyone else. Nothing else to do. The Asher are troubled. Right, let's see how we go. <laughs> All right. Um, shit. <laughs> hmm, okay, that's good. I can do that. We are ill at ease. This damage provides more money than. Look at this. It actually provides more money damaged. 450 compared to 300. <laughs> uh, repair. Repair that. Don't need to repair and repair that. Yeah, it's actually providing me more money. Okay, so we got 14 units in here. And they're mostly just goblins. I will recruit a lord in there. Greatest of the dragon princes. The winds guide me. I know the way. Okay. Cool. Alright, I'll just stand right. If that's all they've got, then that's nothing. Their strength ranking. Yeah, yeah, should be fine. Alright, you attach in here. This will actually give us some money. You may look upon me. Greater invocation of Vol. What do I need for that? Research three technologies. Okay, we're on our way with that. Okay, 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 okay. So... Yeah, look, we've got a really good garrison. we got uh, Dragon Princes... A Dragon Prince, Sun Dragon... Do I even need a wizard? Stop that! They got a wizard. Alright, let's have, let's have a little think. Let's have a think. What lore of magic would be best? There's beast magic. There's fi fire magics. No, metal magic maybe. Mm. Life magic. That's a bit really bad there. You want something that's going to do area of effect damage. So metal magic is is a choice, but I think life magic might be best. Best we go with Peaky. Because that would be bad. Elven. <laughs> okay, here we go. Metal for Searing Doom. Life Mag. Devi, this is Warhammer 2. Life Magic's better in Warhammer 2, in my opinion. Uh, Elmer Tide, the Fighter Super It's a shame that you don't like High Elves of Warhammer 3, but Imic Special Sun Dragon and Warhammer 3 has insane breath attacks that so quite literally cleanly deletes a unit. Yeah. That's uh, it's good, but uh, yeah, I don't like them in one three. Thanks for the chat. I'm not going to recruit any more units here. Bow 
boundless courage. And we'll see how we go. <laughs> Swap out Spearman with a new one? Mm, no, money is. Sorry about it. Yeah, I'll take a pair of victory. The winds of magic guide us. And I will take the money. Perhaps their master values them. This is 15% supply line. Welcome home, Legend. I know, I know. But, uh. We're okay. Alright, before we disband her, just have a little look around. Um, Dragon Rider. Whatever's over here, you'll be able to handle no problem, so just go straight for it. I've got Lightning Strike. Um, is set for triumph. If I attack this one, they will probably run away. I guess we can find out. Summary execution. Oh, they don't. Nice. Man, it's it's nice to go up against an, an AI that just isn't like a complete utter bitch. You know, they're actually like, yeah, all right, I'm gonna lose, but I'll still fight. Admiral Akbar says, uh, Admiral Akbar, it's a trap to uh, five dollars. Object that to see two is back. Fingers crossed. The, on the patch for three, getting caught up on the stream. This is for Snitch Siege HP pot tribute. All right, thanks, dude. Thanks for the chat. Um, should I find it manually? Sure, auto will be fine, except we will take lopsided damage. Yeah, I will fight it manually. We got to be efficient. Why not Imric and Wormer three? It's much harder. Come on, don't pull your dick balls and gooch over my eyes, okay? <laughs> Warhammer 3 is infinitely easier than Warhammer 2. Don't, don't, fucking, it doesn't even compare. How on earth can you possibly say that Imric is easier in Warhammer 2 than 3? How can you possibly say that? That's just straight up false. Master of Battle. Imric Warhammer two, uh, Warhammer three, AI. No, Imric, please don't go near me. I'll run away. Warhammer two. Hey, look, I've got four stacks on turn ten. Watch me ambush you constantly. I kinda knew they wouldn't hit that. So. AI in Warhammer 3, freaking. Turn 100. Ah, look at me! I'm strength ranking 2, and I have. Four settlements. And I'm the biggest empire in the game, apart from the player, who's been strength ranking one since turn 10. Meanwhile, Warhammer 2. Oh, look, it's turn 50, and I'm strength 100. What's that? Malekith is all red. No green, no yellow line at all. Oh, what's that? There are 40 other major factions that are more powerful than me and all hate me and have 20 armies each. And also, no minor city battles. I will 
go. Prince Emrich. Game journey still can't handle one to three on easy. Yeah. Oh look, the thing is, if you have no idea how to play Total War, then yeah, you're gonna lose even on easy difficulty. But for for you know, assuming that most of us here have at least some experience with Total War games, Warhammer 3 is not difficult. Endgame Crisis or Chaos Invasion? Oh, I think Endgame Crisis is a bit more interesting. Uh, more of a grind, though. Oh, yeah, Chaos Invasion. I don't really have to worry about that. Unless I conquer all the way up to there. Warhammer 3 tutorial is actually great. The Warhammer 3 tutorial is good, yeah. I find Total War Tilla hard. It is hard. It is a hard Total War game. It's very punishing. If you're intimately familiar with it, it becomes easy. But if you're not, then it can seem very hard. Uh, I'll take the replenishment. We don't want to... Born of Isha. Mm. They must bow to him. As it was meant to be. We need them levels up. All right, what are we doing? Nah, that's not that big a deal. Um, kind of feel like I need to reduce upkeep costs in this campaign. <laughs> Otherwise, we're gonna. We're just financially not going to be able to handle much. Because I'm not exactly going to be able to entrepreneur spam quickly. Might take a while. Alright, I can't reach that one, so we'll just have to do this. Now, I want this one here wiped out. So I'm going to auto-resolve it. These fools have no chance. They'll thrive under my rule. Save the points till tier 12. Um, yeah, we only need the Kaladur Incumbent. These other ones here are good, but that's not the ones that I'm, like, rushing. It's just it's just this one here. Like, Ashenfield is good, but we don't have a whole lot of flaming attack anyway. Um, and I don't want to miss out on reduced upkeep costs. You know, for now. Alright, looking at them, they're beaten. They're beaten. I just want to have a little squiz around this way. I'm going to disband this, but I just want to have a little look. Seeking a trial. Full speed, Okay, cool. Just want to know where they are. That's all. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, public order over here is bad. We got not long until revolt. And as soon as we get over here, we're gonna have to declare war on this shit stain. So I would go and ruin dwell that. Um, finances are okay at the moment. It does take two turns to get from Flayed Rock to Haunted Forest. 
strategy beyond compare. But it's not essential. It's not essential. Let's have a look here. So hmm. the oath keeper. Alright, let's have a look at items, see what oh I don't know. The UI for items is definitely better in Warhammer 3. That's actually not too bad. So instability is still still seven turns of garbage. Is this a total war a mod or a self-imposed challenge? It's a self-imposed challenge. Yeah. Although it would be good, I suppose, if there was a mod to just automatically do it. Maybe there is, Dragon I just don't look Prince. into it. Alright, it would be good to get some more units. We have the money for it now that we have Reduced our upkeep costs a little bit. But it's not as... Hang on. What about the spearmen here? Well, yeah, we should probably get rid of that. Pile of garbage. It's actually more expensive than archers. Alright, here's what we should do. We should, we should recruit them when we arrive at the Shattered Cove. Doing it before then just means that I don't have to pay them up until then. I'll still keep the White Lions for now, because we need all the strength that we can get for dealing with um, uh, Malice Dick Breath. If we're lucky, this one will jump in the underway over this way, and uh, I'll catch it. Like a metaphor. Alright, we'll see how we go. But yeah, we should just be able to come straight over here now. Because we have essentially beaten them. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, alright, alright. We're actually making more money on this. It's pretty funny. Repairing it's detrimental. Alright, public order over here. We can prevent it by... By untaxing it. But I, I do need the money. So if we upgrade this. I don't I don't think we're going to lose the Fortress of Orag just yet. So... Three turns for one public order and a tiny little bit of extra money. Do what we can. We'll use the dragon encounter chase. Uh, does that still work? I don't know if that still works. And right, let's move on. I thought they fixed the dragon encounter cheese. Alright, they did jump, but they're going a different direction. And that's fine. Alright, at least he's not recruiting anything. And if we look at Pig Barter. Warrior Supreme. He might be going back to Pig, Pig Barter to go and attack it. Uh, in which case, I'll need a lord there. And. And we'll see. Uh, but if we just go straight to Shattered Cove. I decree death. In fact, I think it's totally okay for us to force march there. Just be really careful that we don't encounter malice. Yeah, we didn't. Don't encounter malice until until next turn. Because that way we start getting the uh, the extra campaign movement range trait, which is nice. Alright, money is okay, and public order is really bad. Really bad. I don't think I should have looted that. I think that was a mistake. Uh, let me have a look here. If we can hold out for two turns, we can pop down the Invocation of Assyrian. I could recruit a temporary army here. We, we got eight units, but the revolt is... 
going to get bigger pretty quickly. Destruction abounds. Shit, okay, um, I'm actually thinking of, um, recruiting an army here to get ready for the revolt. I'll only need about eight units. So get another life wizard. Incompetence, fine, since we're not taxing it anyway. Yeah, and then this one will go and ruin dwell this afterwards, assuming we've got any money left. We're gonna need to tax it. Master of high magic. Yes, yeah, two turns regardless. The vortex calls. And do we have access to regiments of renown? Yes, I do. Okay, okay. I might, I might just be able to handle this. Hundred percent works on the current patch. Okay, I'll, I'll think about using the, uh, the dragon encounters. Cheese. We'll, we'll, we'll see. I'll think about it. Um, but let's just, let's just focus on this first because this is a bit more important right now. Imagine Snitch returning via Revolt and defeating you. Yeah, but Snitch can't return, so I, I know that we don't have to worry about that. So I hope that they jump in over here. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, we've met everyone. Good. Good. That way, when we occupy this, it'll attack us here and get a few, a few battles out of them. There's the dragon encounter. Pride of Ulster. I see the winds. Okay. So go for Shattered Cove. Don't worry about this one here right now. And what we want to do here is lightning strike it. But we'll have to fight it manually because we don't want to take too much damage. And um over the end turn, they should attack us here, allowing us to get a fair bit of experience. Safe to assume you haven't had time to try Mana Lords out yet? Nope, I have had time to try out Mana Lords. Um, because Mana Lords takes a full two hours to finish. Uh, like I liked it. I liked it. Um, I don't think I don't know if it's worth streaming. Like it's it's okay if your your normal streams are like two hours long, but mine are six. I I, I wouldn't know what to do with the other four hours. Just, just keep. I don't, I don't know. I'll, like I think about it. But I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Are they taking a defensive position? No. What the fuck is Mana Lords? Uh, Mana Lords is quite a popular sort of indie game that uh, just had a demo released. Uh, which I played. It's kind of like a city builder. There's a, there's battle aspects to it. Well, there will eventually be battle aspects to it, but it hasn't been developed yet. Um, it's pretty buggy, pretty buggy, but it is interesting. Prince Imrich. Slay them! Yes. Setting forward. Moving out. <laughs> Amazing. 
to good. Winds of magic rise. Oof one mage. For order. Behold, the magic. So good. Might of the volcano. Good. All right, ambulance should be any moment now. Where are you? Don't need to run them down because they're sitting inside of a settlement. They're goners. There we go. Good stuff. All right, took pretty minimal casualties, and that's what we wanted to see there. All right, cool. So we're gonna have to declare war on Malice right now. But that's just how it is. As you've expanded in this sort of war campaign, you have to keep declaring war. Have you played Battle Call yet? And what did you think? Yeah, it's good. I think it was a good campaign. I liked it. Has Legend considered streaming NO 1800? Oh man, I don't think you guys would like the way I play NO 1800. I don't think you'd like it. They'll try under my roof. So now what they should do is come over here and attack. Over the end turn. There's no walls here, so they'll just do it. And then count it had grief. That's a declare. See, normally I would um come over to Dreadrock first, but I can't you do that. Have ten heartbeats to make your cake. I yearn to soak my blade in the blood of Ulfwan's traitors. Nah, right, well, what do you think? Okay, okay, so we... Oh, I was supposed to recruit. Master of high magic. Mm. Uh, Anada Deb did a $5 super chat. Hey, Legend of Total War, you should play Imric in Total War Warhammer 3. He is so hard to play. Too many enemies, it should be fun for you. The dragon shall win. Okay, thank you, super chat. I don't like the high elves in Warhammer 3, and I got Warhammer 3 fatigue, so I'm just not going to do that. But thanks for the super chat. Alright. Yeah, he's considered a fair bit stronger than us, but I've got to deal with this revolt. Hi, Elven Archmage. So... Good, that gets us to 8, and if we absolutely need to, Infused we've got Regiment of Renown. Wisdom. Greatest of the Dragon Princes. All right, chap. we'll, um, wait, how much do we have this on? Six turns, okay, cool. Should be fine, should be fine. I mean, it's not like Malice Darkblade is hard or anything, right? Malice Darkblade, he's easy, right? Will I be getting the dragons to stream? Mm, I'd like to, but we'll see how we go. I uh, It just depends on how many distractions there are. <laughs> Legend bites hard on his tongue right now. <laughs> I've got to, I've got to try harder to bite my tongue because you know people, people really try to get under my skin. You can see it. Awesome, 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 awesome. All right, so what we want to do here is fight it manually, so that we don't kill that character.
Just fill Malice full of arrows, works every time, right? Now, what we need to do is have... Uh, he should be on foot. He should still be on foot. He shouldn't be on spite yet. So, just distract him. That, that's how you deal with Malice. Just like what I did within that disaster battle. Alright, just have him do this by himself. Don't kill it, don't kill it, don't kill it, don't kill it. Fuck me, that was close. Oh shit. Cool, there we go. It's just basic clan rats and slaves. Five units of archers is enough. Should be, should be. Also, guys, I think it's important to note. <laughs> Why did he not kill that character? What's he doing? Hey, get back over here. Greater than your prestige. Where the fuck did the other one go? My lord. News of your conquests spreads far and wide. Your developing power is noted by even the most distant of Oh, kings it's just clan rats and humans. slaves. It should be fine. <laughs> clan rat, that's a funny looking clan rat there. And it's an assassin. Notoriously difficult lord to deal with. Oh shit. Need Kalidor incumbent. Alright. Uh, I don't have enough influence for emollient, even if it does show up, but let me just have a look. No! I don't have enough influence! Emollient is there! Uh, what could I have possibly done? If I come over here, that could give me influence. Oh my god, I could get emollient right off the bat. <clears throat> Master of high magic. Well, let's just look a little bit closer. I see the wind. Right. I might be able to order resolve it, but let's just have a look here. Otherwise, if like if this doesn't get an order resolve, well, let me just see what they got. That. Yeah, we're gonna need a regiment of renown. Seek safety. Yeah, we're gonna need a regiment of renown. Yeah. Okay, so what we'll do is get the Heralds of the Wind. That is definitely the best choice here. That's really good at derping around those, um... Those units. I wield the wind. If, I have, if I have to fight this battle manually now, that's fine. Yeah, I think I can handle this. They're just bigger rats, easy target. No, not necessarily. They're, if I had a lot of archers, which I don't, I mean, I, it's all archers, but it's. Nah, I, I need these. As you say, acknowledged. Orders received. Heralds of the wind. As you say, without fail, disciple of Hoeth. All right. What we do here is annoy the hell out of the the rat ogres to get them to come at us early. This is really good regiment of renown. This one doesn't do much damage, but it's good at annoying units. Uh, Susan Rigby did a 4.49 pound super chat. Alright, thanks, Dudette. Appreciate the support. Forgot if Dragon Encounter has influence option. Yeah, yeah, I know, I just gotta get to it. Just gotta get to it though, that's all. Didn't forget. This is good so far. March. We advance. 
Quickly now! Forward! Assyrian guides us! Move! Setting forth! Hey, Skaven Dan, how's it going, dude? Oh, you're a streamer. Why haven't I made you a moderator yet? That'll make you pop in the chat. Why is he sending his lord to fight Cla uh, rat ogres? Yeah, we're fine now. No problems. No problems at all. The Lord does a bit of a pain. Doesn't matter if we take a lot of damage. Let's sort, of sort things out. And then we use this army to go and occupy the, the settlement. Okay, make sure this one here dies. If we can. We should just be able to auto resolve the next fight. We did enough damage, I think. How's it going? Yeah, cool. That's working out. This is going to be Skaven Dan's first poor schmuck to get wrecked by that band hammer. Oh, okay. So, the whole purpose of giving him moderator is not so that he has to moderate. He doesn't have to. But if you have a look here at the chat, he pops. Okay? You know, I, I don't like to miss whatever other streamers are saying in the chat. So that's why I make the moderators. All you people that are just grey, you're just faces in a crowd, you know. <laughs> why not continue the Gash campaign? Uh, I th no, I don't know. I think we were done with that. What if someone Assyrian legend made a mod instantly became a tyrant and banned all chatters? Uh, I would undo it and then unmoderate them. All right, take they the money. They may live for a price. There, I must go. That was anyway, yeah, for sure. But at the same time, it's hard to notice every Today person in the ours. chat. That's all. Oh shit, am I actually going to make it to the Haunted Forest this turn? For such as I. That'd be good. Althuan prevails! Asurian protects! Poet sends us! Because that'd save me a lot of money. Master ah, no. of high close. magic. Uh, it doesn't matter about... About having the army now. The rebellion's the done. Get rid of this. And just go stand calls. over there. Cool. Emory. Don't know where that other dude went. May have headed over to Pig Barter. But that's fine. I'm going to recruit a lord over there. I, I thought he'd come over this way. The Star Lance oh, there he is. There he is. I see him. 
You can force march swap her, then change stance and ruin dwell it in one turn. Yes, I can do that. Uh, you're right. I'll win. I always do. Yes, that is Follow true. The dragon. Now, where is this guy going? I see the winds. Aso sorcerer. Destiny lies there. From is though, I gotta pay eight hundred twenty-five for it. All right, might as well get a, another lord that we might use later. What, what's in for life? No, don't get flustered. That's a shit trait. Uh, let's see. Life, 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 life. Where are you? Innervated. Yeah, that's not good, but that'll have to do. High Elven Archmage. Carried by yeah. magic. High Elven Archmage. Dragon Prince. So you know it's gonna be funny if this one jumps over here to try to attack the haunted forest. <laughs> Son of a bitch. All Kalador rejoices. That will be very annoying. Alright, rather than sending Imric to do the dragon encounter. As you were, a seat of power. I'm going to recruit another lord to go and do it. I'll get a beast wizard. Yeah, ridiculed is a good trait. Oh, nice. All right, here we go. I find glory wherever I fight. Yeah, okay. We go do bargain with the dragon for that influence. I seek your blessings. Magic in purest form. Greatest. Okay, dragons. then come over here and oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at this. Standing by. Save character, please. <laughs> uh Ashken Fughiri did a ten dollar super chat. Because of your Imric guide, I managed to finish uh, his campaign. Thanks for all the content, man. No, Zoom, my pleasure. That's how you spell it, right? Yeah. Another triumph for the dragon. I still got another forty influence, so we can see what else shows up next turn. Strategy. Um, but there's nothing wrong with getting another one attaching it to the army that could be used that could be good for the army no, let me see what's available melee attack or charge bonus for the hero's army go with this what do you require you so that'll give us 19 units 20 okay Warriors. full stack full stack all right, what do we need here? What do we need? Give me magical reserves. Yep, cool, cool, cool. Mhm. Mm you must restore order. All right, at least we're making money. A dark blood. Missed an RC super chat. Sorry, let me just go. Off. Yeah, uh, I can't pronounce it. Did a 250 RSD super chat. Nice to see Worm 2 campaign for some time. I thought I was the only one who finds Worm 3 a little bit tiresome recently. Yeah, you're not the only one. Um, it's actually very common. But thanks for the chat. There's a prudent noble. The are yeah, but prudent's nowhere near as good as frugal. You are right. It, but that would cost me 10 influence, and then I might miss out on whatever the 40 influence one is. 5% is not that not big of a deal. But you, you're not wrong. That wouldn't be a bad thing to do. Okay, so let's get... Uh, let's get this one here. 
Now, hopefully, this guy here, who's on, who's in the region of the Shattered Cove, jumps down to the Shattered Cove. If he goes towards the Haunted Forest, I have to recruit another army to take it out. Um. Ooh. I think I'll do this next turn. Because... Ooh, that's detrimental. I think I'll do this next turn. Because that'll be really good for the Siege of Dread Rock. And I don't know if I'm actually going to get there within 10 turns. I should. I should, but I don't know. Because I don't have any artillery. That is beyond my power. Alright, I want you to scout ahead a little bit. I want to know what's going on. Lilith protects me. The dragon shall wake. Yeah, plus I'll be completely broke. And I might need money for Regiment of Renown. Okay. You guys have a right for the... Gives info. Yeah, well, I'm definitely going to do it. I'm definitely going to do it. It's just a matter of when, not if. They're raiding. Well, at least I know where they are, I think. Just sitting there. Crown Prince. Would All right, you I need care? you to have a look and see where they are. If we have a look here. I can't see where they are at the moment. Sailing. I usually just go straight for the Dread Rock, but let's just have a look. Voyaging. There he is. No. Okay, that's all I needed to know. Futile. Alright, now he may land over here to try to go for the Fortress of Orag, and that's fine if he does. His army is only size 13, that's not that big of a deal. Our army is bigger. The Oath Keeper. If that army comes to the Shattered Cove, we should be able to beat it. If it goes to Pig Barter, we should be able to beat it. It's only two units. Not that big of a deal. Direct me. I have much to teach them. I will share my experience. So your command? Forbidden. If I stand right there, Malice might try to attack me. I've got lightning dark fucking hearts. dark conduit. My oh my god, what the boil. fuck? And yours easy to spend. You must have another like full army somewhere. I gotta be careful. Imric. Maybe I should go into ambush dance Loyalty. and just see what he does. Yeah, cause By he's got another army. Like what if it comes around through here and gets me? I gotta be careful here. Crossing the waves. Come back. Alright, let's see, what do we need? Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Minneathnir would cost a shitload of money, but dragons are good, kind of. Mal starts off with his black arc. Yeah, but he usually doesn't leave any um, military on his black arc, and I can't I see where it is. What's my strength ranking? 109. Yeah, if it was Warhammer 3, I'd be strength ranking 10 by now. Boundless courage. I reckon magic resistance is really going to come in handy here. Let's go that. That stuff's good as well. We'll worry about that later, though. Darkness will never conquer light. That's good. 
The Druki will fall. Alright, fuck it, let's do this one. Come on! Diamond Guardian Phoenix. Diamond Guardian Phoenix. Hera Max did an eight dollar super chat. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. How'd you lose the reliability uh, by declaring war on Kalidor on turn one? So this is a total war campaign. Hmm. Jewel of Dusk is all right. Greatest of the Dragon Princes. This mm. place. Do you know what in your dragon mount? I do, but money, that's all. It's fine, it's fine. I just think that um, the dragon mount's not very useful when dealing with, like, dark shit. Uh, yeah, we'll see how we go, we'll see how we go. Because that boosted the entire army, gave us a lot of magic resistance, which is good. Uh, Asura did a 10 pounds super chat. Always a joy to see you play Warmer too. Keep up the content, brother. Alright, no worries, dude. Appreciate the super chat. Glory awaits. Should support. Um, yeah. The big thing here is I just don't know what I'm going up against. Futile. It's quite possible that Malice Darkblade will just force march right over to here, and then I can just get him. That's that's actually quite likely, I'd say. And if he lands over here, well then I'll I'll head over to Dreadrock. Because we're defended here. I got I got Darkness You know, I got some defenses. We should be able to manage. Alright, alright, so let's just see how we go with that. Uh, should we upgrade this? Uh, no, just save up the money for now. Emric's not going home then? Uh, we might go home. It's just that we're not going to get a warm welcome. <laughs> That's for sure. Hmm. Okay, I wasn't expecting him to do that. Raiding Flayed Rock, not Black Country. Mm. Well, that's been developed now, so let's first see where he is. Alright, well, he's not going to be able to take the Flayed Rock, but he might go for Haunted Forest and he might actually succeed. Be ready for anything. Too green, mm, I'm just not sure if I can land. If I do that. Yeah, it's not going to let me land. Carried by waves. No. According to this, he's going to be standing in this sphere of influence on Force March next turn. You may look upon me. So if I'm standing here in ambush stance, about here, I should be able to catch him. Row, I say. Mastery of stealth. Right, you need to get back Ready over here. Serve. The ocean calls. I miss the peaks of Kalidor. Now, against that Lord Magic's not... Oh, uh, I guess we could use, um... Death Magic. What would be best against that enemy Lord? Maybe Fireball? Uh, I think I think just spirit leeching him will be fine. Master 
Because he might, might attack that. I'm not sure what he's going to do. And I forgot to check this over here last turn. Frugal, there we go. How about that? Speak your mind. That's way better than the other one. This place could nice. A volcano. Okay, okay, okay. That'll save us a fair bit of money. Good. Alright, now we need cash, but also public order is... Yeah, it's useless to us in this campaign. So let's go with Plaza, but we also need Growth. Growth is okay. And we got some money, we could upgrade a settlement. Let's upgrade... Flayed Rock. Alright, any new enemies to encounter? Nope. So yeah, if all goes well, he'll just come over here. Maybe he'll stand there, I'm not sure. Um, chances of us ambushing him is like 100% if he, if he force marches here. But we'll just have to wait and see what he does. He's not in range of his um, black arc now. Uh, Popcorn did a 10 euro super chat. Oh my god, Wormer 2 and this is Total War? Christmas has come early. Have fun and good stream, dude. Love it. Alright, no worries, dude. Thanks for super chat. Yes, yeah, this is Total War campaign. Alright, grab that. Master of Drakes. Alright, let's move on. Your demeanor totally changes when you play Warhammer 2. That's what happens. Alright, what are you doing? What are you doing? Alright, that's not what I expected once again, but that's also not bad. We, we got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Uh, this one's not going to be able to attach for the battle, so you'll have to just swing back around that way. Yeah, I thought that they might try to attack the Haunted Forest instead of that. Uh, I'm not sure if they're standing inside the garrison range, I'll just have a look. Looks actually he is. Alright, cool. Let that be. Let's be done with this shit. We need not Good, finally. Annoying bastard. There lies the coin. I wield the wind. Good. The dragon shall wake. Yeah, as if I attach this one into the army, I'll, I'll lose all my movement. Because this Fucking region. Alright. Go sit in Shadow Cove. Now, how much money will this save us? Probably a couple hundred. I am a fount of knowledge. Gotta like them reduced upkeep costs. You called? Right. Hang on. Let's have a look here. So, let's get... Yeah. Let's make them better fighters for this one. Imp. Hmm. He's on foot. Pyrrhic victory. Fucking dark conduit. Kiss my ass. I'm not going to get a Pyrrhic victory. Dark Conduit always gives them huge auto-resolve powers, but they're more likely to use it on these characters here to begin with, so we should be fine. They don't have that much in terms of armor-piercing missiles. Um, after we have defeated Unlimited Defeats, I could do that. You're absolutely right, we could do that, but you know what that would also do? That would make Malice super strong. <laughs> so that's not a good idea. Oh, yeah, but you're, you're not wrong, I could do it. We will obey. Okay, um, against this enemy, because of the um, the uh, the bombing that they're going to do, and it could be difficult to dodge it, what we need to do is use long formations rather than square because of their bombardments, and we need to really spread out. We outrange them by a lot. Um, yep, yeah, you do that. You stay over here. There. 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 
Jonathan Lamb did a $5 super chat. Is this the final stream? No. No, no, this is not the final stream. No, no, the final... Okay, final stream will be, um, like, January 1st next year. Thanks for super chat, dude. And also, uh, again, thank you for the su big super chat yesterday. That was... That was absolutely massive. A glorious challenge. In fact, you might actually hold the record for the single largest super chat I've ever received. Maybe. I don't know. It's hard to keep track of this. Oh, I didn't check Archers a board. Acknowledged. Loyal. Don't worry about the second line. Locating. Yes. How big was the super chat? Five hundred dollars. <laughs> massive. Sent by the forge. Crown prince moving. A superior vantage. In Ball's name, I seek glory. Ball sends me. Behold, as I march. Prince Imric. Okay. Imric, keep him distracted. Crown prince ascend. Keep him distracted while we hit that fucking blob. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh god yeah. <laughs> that, that did a lot of damage. Yeah, there you go. Waste that garbage. Good job. Taking position. I will go. I seek glory. For the dragons. More than you earn in a month. Glory be. You don't earn five hundred dollars in a month? Right. God, that's that's not that's way below minimum wage. I am magnificent. Never fail. I seek glory. Where is the fire magic, Yon? Uh, she's scouting ahead. I couldn't attach her back into the army. I don't need her for this battle. We'll be fine. I will claim it. Crown prince, move it. I seek glory. Noticing they're not using the uh, Black Ark abilities. Can't do much about the Scourge Runner Chariot. They're just really good units. But we are not faster than it. But it is on Force March, so... Oh, stay away, stay away, stay away! Stay away! That's Malice, stay away. Just ignore him. Don't shoot him, just ignore him, just ignore him. Pretend he's not even there. Just ignore him. That's how you beat Malus, just ignore him. Don't want to Tsark and it. Said ignore him! Just run away from him. Oh shit, fucking Dark Shards. Get him out, get him out, get him out. Oh man, my Dragon Prince has got wrecked there. I should've just kept him away. Ah! Well, I need to replace the unit anyway, for for Michaela to come back in, get her out. This is why we're spread out, just in case that shit happens. Move, 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 move. Keep him. Just stop shooting at him, for fuck's sake. Careful, careful. Battle call. Onward. Prince Imric. Sent by the forge. Alright, there we go, we beat him. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, so one of our units got nuked by the Dark Conduit, but it's fine because I needed to replace the unit anyway, so 
You could say that it all worked out exactly as I planned. It would definitely be in our best interest for Malice to be wounded in the battle, that way we get more loot money. Is Kalidor going to make a long trip from the donut to get to where you are? It wouldn't really matter. Uh, I capture two more settlements and they get confederated, so it doesn't make any difference. Better than Pyrrhic victory, so it is better than what Order Resolve yielded, even though one unit gets wiped out. And Order Resolve actually didn't wipe out any of my units, but it would have uh, kept us in pretty damaged. Alright. Yeah, get the replenishment. Get us back they up. Will rebuild um, Ace Then did, uh, became a new member. Alright, thanks dude. Appreciate the support. Good, that's a good item. Because you said earlier. So yeah, having 19 units is fine, I suppose. If we're going to attach her in. It was just an archer unit. Alright, now, they're considered even in terms of strength. So that's something. may look upon me. Duck did a five dollar super chat. I've been playing a few Count Noctilus campaigns in three. How do you invade Ulthwine early game when elf archers have more range than zombie gunnery mobs? Thanks, super chat, dude. I have never played a Count Noctilus campaign in three. I have no idea. <laughs> um, used uh, scurvy dogs. Yeah, use scurvy dogs. That should do it. All right, mini eighth near. Yeah. Now that Malice is gone, let's do that. Ah, you expensive bitch. Okay. Yeah. Only one of them will apply, but I need them all to have it, I think, just in case. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. So, what are you Never. gonna do? Glory awaits for lesser beings. I hear the Kadaif. No. Greatest of the Dragon Princes. Alright, I reckon what we do here is actually force march to right in front of Admiral Leech. Give this guy the chance to come up our ass and attack us. Dragon Prince. From two sides. I'll actually give them the chance to do it. Malice is gone, and we need to take advantage of this. I sense items of power. Pride of Ulswa. Yeah. So we'll see if they go for it. Now this one here might go for the Shattered Cove instead. Uh, yeah, they might. Another triumph for the dragon. Or they might go to Dread Rock, in which case we got them, I think. We'll see. You must restore order. We'll see. Alright, cool. What are we doing now? A little bit of money, I could upgrade this. Low return on investment with that, so maybe just hold off. Always gotta check this before we end the turn. Is the metrics already telling you that Worm Material live streams do better? Well, there's a lot of factors to take into consideration. This stream has done better than, so far, uh, the Ogre campaign, obviously. Um, the uh, Beastman campaign, the Dothu campaign. Yeah, it's, it's done better than those, at, at the very least. The other ones prior to that, it's about on par. Um, Casey did a 10 super chat. Appreciate all the videos. No, dude, my pleasure. Thanks, super chat. At least based on the information that I'm looking at at the moment. Do you give Michaela the Jewel of Dusk? No, you're right, I should do that. 20 wins is good. Might as well grab that. Uh, did, okay, okay, okay. So, I'm actually hoping that they do swing around here and attack me. I'm actually hoping they go for it because that gives us an opportunity to just beat them outright. And, uh, we'll see. The AI is fairly bold in Warhammer 2, but they... 
Uh, I don't know. We'll see. And Manfred's campaign. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Manfred's campaign sucked. Yeah. They're going for it. They're going to try. Oh, look at that. They're going to try it. Man, if this was Wormer 3, they would have never tried something like that. Bold. <laughs> Especially because it's an auto resolve uh, defeat for them. Okay, so if they're. Ca Let's have a look at the map here. If they're coming in from my rear. Okay, let's do this. Wait, Imrik, you didn't like Hyles in Game 3? No, I really don't like Hyles in Game 3. Really don't like him. No, it's boring. They're strong, but they're very boring. And also, people are really, really sick of Minor City Sieges. No Minor City Sieges in Warhammer 2. Okay, the reinforcements aren't coming from behind us, so I guess I don't need to worry about that then. You stay out of this one. Shouldn't be needed. Now, we got to watch out because they've got bombs. So square formations is probably not the best idea. Come on, stop knocking him down and kill him. Ah, so much damage. Uh, Christian Kowalski became a new member. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. Did you reactivate it with your post today with more viewers to your stream? Killed that lord. Don't worry about the black art, Corsairs. In Paul's name. Oh, Moving out. Prince Imric. That damn dragon's gonna be derpy. One more bite, you can do it. You can do it. My power is yours. Did we get it? Got it. Nice. Hey, that's a nice looking uh, blob you got right there. <laughs> oh man, that's gonna hurt. Uh, yeah, that, that hurt them a lot. Taking position. Range. The Phoenix rises, cooling the winds. I go there. Uh, that didn't do that much. There's no life wizard. Well, this is a wizard that you start off with. I, I would prefer a life wizard. 
Third fire is also what we've got. It's not like fire is bad. Careful, careful, careful. Careful. I will go. I will claim it. Ulf one mage. Siphon, hear me. A glorious challenge. Locating. Setting four. Ulf one mage. Bit of damage there. We're okay. Awaiting orders. Mage. Yeah, this is sometimes where dragons not so good when they've got a lot of high powered missiles. Good thing we got that potion of healing. Why is it that I can watch this for hours but turn off Warhammer 3 after 20 minutes? Well, based on the feedback that I got from you guys today, it comes down to this. It's a number of factors, not one thing. Um, the vast majority of the battles that we've fought today have been field battles. And field battles are more interesting than sieges. Um, in Warhammer 3, it's like the opposite. We might go an entire stream and fight one field battle. The rest are just minor city sieges and people get really sick of it. Um, in Warhammer 2, the AI is aggressive, and therefore you end up fighting more interesting engagements. In Warhammer 3, the AI is, beyond belief, a fucking coward. They cower behind their walls, and they avoid you wherever possible, which leads to not very interesting stuff, because you're not under any threat. Um, whereas the AI in Warhammer 2, they go for you. They're like... Fuck you, player. I'm going to come after you. And in Warhammer 3, they're like, Oh, player, please. Oh, don't hurt me. Ah. After one live stream in Warhammer 2, um, after one live stream, I'm strength ranking 100. In Warhammer 3, I'm strength ranking 1. Um, and it happens just about every single time with, uh, with Warhammer 3. I like Warhammer 3, but it is so much easier than Warhammer 2. So much easier. The Dragon Princess seem a bit shit. Why keep them around? Uh, they are shit for a tier 5 unit, but for turn, like, 16 or whenever this is, it's pretty good. So, I think people just have a bit of Warhammer 3 fatigue, and that's totally understandable. But, and I, you know what? I have Warhammer 3 fatigue. So, it's not like me playing this is like, Fuck Warhammer 3, we're never playing it again. No. We're going to play it again, but why don't we wait until the next patch? Because it, it is a beta, and it's, it's a bit boring at the moment. Alright. There is a reasonable chance we can occupy that. This yeah. one here could go around to the Shattered Cove. And if it does, it's not a big deal. But yeah, let's let's see if we can do this. The dragon's rage. Yeah, bitch! Alright, cool. We have to fight that manually though. Uh, before we do that. I am their doom! Let's level up. 
Dragon Pact is good. Speed of Assyrian's good. Oh, most of the stuff is good. Dragon Hearts. Don't need flame resistance right now. Speed for nope. Don't, probably don't ever need that. Ancient Pride is definitely good. Oh, sorry. I'm getting tired. Um, let's go with Dragon Pact. That's pretty damn good. But yeah, it's got to be fought manually or else uh, we just end up taking too much damage. But it looks like we've got Malice on the ropes at the moment. Which is nice. It's looking good. The dragon strikes. Easy. Oh, no, it's a close victory. Mm. Let me look at the map. No, we should fight this manually. When does he get his healing item? Oh, I've got to actually finish his quest to get the armor of Kalidor, um, which would really help out for sure, but uh, oftentimes quest battles can be inconvenient. We can probably think about doing that right after we have wiped out Malice. I just switched from Medieval 2 to Warhammer 1. Any tips for choosing dwarves? My next campaign. If you're playing Total War Warhammer 1, let me do you a really big favor. Stop playing Total War Warhammer 1. And play Warhammer 2 instead. Just stop. Okay? Everything that's in Warhammer 1 is in Warhammer 2. And it's way better. Way better in Warhammer 2. So... Yeah, just... Play Warhammer 2. There's just so it's just so much better. Even if you don't get the DLC, just play Warhammer 2. We will obey. So much better. Do yourself a big favor. Warhammer 1 is completely outdated. It is just DLC for Warhammer 2. Or 3. Okay. I'm just going to use the archers and the nobles. To tank. We should be able to use the Vols kind of thingy. Vols hammer, yeah. But if you really want to just play Warhammer 1, okay, let me let me give you some advice. If you want to cheese the game, uh, spam Dwarf Warriors. That's it. Just spam Dwarf Warriors with shields and auto resolve. That's all you gotta do. And you will destroy your enemies. Warhammer 1 has a Noble. bit of a problem with... Ah, shit. Uh, with Auto Resolve. Auto Resolve is really, really powerful with low tier units with high melee defense. Obeying orders. Quick time. I'm pretty sure I once Noble. defeated an entire legendary difficulty campaign only recruiting goblins as the greenskins. Just goblins and just auto resolve the entire campaign. Didn't recruit anything else, just sort of resolved it with goblins. Warhammer 1 was like a good beta for Warhammer 2. <laughs> kind of. Yeah, Warhammer 1 was good for its time, but it's just completely outdated by Warhammer 2. Completely. Alright, let's have a look here. Yeah, that'll create another breach, but that's okay. Yeah, much better than what Auto Resolve would have yielded. Much better. KJ became a new member. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the super chat. Uh, membership. There's a patch explanation as to why the AI is being so passive. Basically, CA fucked up the building for the AI so they don't make armies and expand. Yep, that's fine. Fix it and I'll go back and play it. That's fine.
Now, I did not say we're like never playing Warhammer 3 again and just taking a, a bit of a break. Yeah, I'm just going to wait for the next patch. This, this current patch is it's just not doing it for me. And it's not doing it for most of you guys as well. Cool. Okay, and then let's occupy. I'd rather not cause public order problems. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. So, what about some extra ammunition? That would actually be pretty useful. Sun Dragon at rank 22, so a little while away from that. Uh, let's get the least blessing. Good. Calador's champion. 103 wins of magic already. Mm, interesting. Uh, okay. Pride of Oslo. Look upon me. Yep, this is fine. I mean, we're gaining public order. Uh, where should we attack? Ah, oh, doesn't matter. Okay, let's uh, let's see. Any new enemies? Nope. This is going really well. Also, by the way, guys, <laughs> uh, it's bad to happen eventually. But yeah, I know that these guys here are really passive, which is why I wasn't worried about them. Uh, we're at war with Clan Rictus Nest. When are they going to show up? Yeah, pretty soon. They'll show up and probably uh, defeat some of the stuff. Yeah, that seems likely. Well, we got a good amount of levels up using the uh, Invocation of Eldra's Law. That was really handy. Alright. And just yeah, leave that bad return on investment. Cool. Yeah, I... Uh, hang on. You'll dare yeah, we'll, we'll see here. Alright, moving on. Good. Good. Yeah, I didn't want them going up that way. Will I use Entrepreneur Cheese Cheese? Um, not right now. You're doing it right now. Um, doesn't have much value. Um, it's a lot better for Tyrion to do it because he starts off with richer provinces. Doing it right now would just be a waste of influence. But we'll see how we go. So basically, not today. Probably not today. Alright, what are we doing? The Oath Keeper. No. I know that landing here will always eat up all of your movement, and you still won't be able to attack it. Even if you're standing right there, you just never attack from that location. It would be better for us to come over this way, in Force March. Still a decent chance we won't make it. A laughable idea. Right, because we didn't have all of our movement this turn either. Make haste, Asor! The other option is ignore them and come over here. But I think we should go for where their armies are. Don't give them a chance to build an army. Okay, apparently going from the north here is actually closer to Shatterstone Isle. So let's do that. Go to the north. I usually go down the south way, but north makes sense. No replacement from there, but that's okay. Alright, cool. Alright, what else are we doing? So, Nobla country is looking okay. Yeah, probably gonna need to do this for public order. 
Is there anything else that we need? Yeah, just build that. And then... Haunted Forest is the next safest. Pig Barter is probably going to come under attack. I'd say it's quite likely the Skaven will run around this way and hit Pig Barter. Um, before we finish here, and then we'll just have to come back and clean them up. But we'll see. Can you confederate while at war? Yes, because it's a mission. Um, yeah, that's right. Next turn we'll be given that option to confederate Kalidor. I haven't decided what I'm going to do about that. Because confederating them might not be the best course of action. But we will see. Hang on. I didn't check to see if I was at war with everyone. I'm pretty sure I am. Yeah, I am. We're good. Yeah, they're just they're getting out of there. Would you ever do a Bretonian this is a Total War campaign in Worma 2, ME or 3 IE? Uh I'm a, I'm not opposed to it. I'm not opposed to it. Because, yeah, as soon as we go back, we'd have to fight Tyrion. And we've got a bit of a money base here. So. Greatest of the dragon princes. Let's see. As you are. Right, if we have a look at our missions, we're about to... Yeah. Yeah, okay, so this one here. Win the battle with Imric's army for the armor of Kalidor. I, don't, I can't recall the last time I actually fought that battle. It's a very good item, that one. Very good item. Strategy beyond compare. Uh, Cathal Burn. Burn? Become a new member. Thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. Uh, yeah, we can just talk about that. Let <laughs> us wake the dragons. Evenly spread out. It's fine. I claim it for Here we go. If I go home, it will be a fucking nightmare. It'll just be a nightmare. I will get kicked out of Kalidor. There is no way I'll be able to stay. Yeah, we... Obviously, this option here is useless. Same thing with this one. Elven Conflict is fine. Kill them all. Content. It is content, isn't it? Oh, great. Kalidor, I confederated them and they had no army. <laughs> Great. Oh, look what I've just inherited. A gigantic fucking problem. <laughs> oh. oh, well. Hello, boys. I'm home. What is it? I have no time, so make it. Watch as I get kicked out of here. This was definitely not the right call. But you know, content. I will grant you the respect due to an end. Fuck off. <laughs> the decadent paradise of Orthwan. I will hold my hatred for your people for now. Piss off. All right. You reckon we can take this on? I Strength ranking one. Say will not please me. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. 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 Let's hear it. Yeah. All right. Well, what I'll tell you what we need to do. We need to try to defend Vol's Anvil. Torseth Eye is fucked. All right. If they have an army standing at White Peak, which 
They have a military presence of nine, and if it's standing at White Peak, we're fucked. There's, there's no way we can win that, so just... Just get out of there. Get rid of this, don't need it. And you... Uh... Yeah, uh... Because the other, other buildings are going to be destroyed anyway. Princess. Or lost. Uh, is there anything... Yeah, uh... I need troops. <laughs> walls? Yeah, I will build walls, but I have to demolish something first. No defeats campaign. Nah, it's, it's it's over now. There's no way we can do a no defeats campaign. If I wanted to do a this is total war no defeats campaign, um, I should have just not confederated them. Oh yeah, public order problems as well. Whoop, wow, wow, great. Gonna have a rebellion there, and a rebellion here, and a rebellion. No, I'm not gonna have a rebellion there. Dragon rider. Fantastic. Fan fucking tastic. Noble? Oh yeah, we should get a noble. Boundless courage. There's a resilient one. That's a good trait. But, uh, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna leave that. Oh, you know what we should do? Defender of the Asser. Speak your mind. Okay, we're just going to use that to secure influence. <laughs> I can pretty much promise you that that was the wrong choice. But, you know what? It did just boost viewership a little bit, so... I gotta, I gotta keep you guys interested. We'll be okay. We'll, we'll definitely get kicked out of Ulth 1. There's just no hope in hell. No hope in hell. They're just gonna... They're just gonna dogpile me. I got no time to do anything there. Yeah, this is gonna be like, fuck this Imrit guy. Let's 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 kill him. Loyalty is all. Ah, that'll help me with revolts. You get archers in one turning global. We stand ready for action. Thanks, dude. Crown Prince. Alright, now if they're heading towards the Dread Rock, I don't think they can reach it there next turn with this. Plus they wouldn't have a Siege Attacker. Um, and the garrison here has not recovered. Really not sure what they're going to do. Okay, let's see. What do we need? Yep, grab that. That would have been really useful to have already researched. But we got we got malice on the ropes, so gotta try to make use of that. All right, we're done here. Let's move on. Should have asked Tyrion to join war against Marathi first. Who cares? This doesn't matter. Yeah, there we go. Ah! I have a chance. No. First defeat. The Great. How the fuck am I going to defend against this with, with what I got? Replace Kalidor Lord with the caster? Yeah, probably, but uh, we don't have to do it right now. It's not going to make any difference. Archmage, Wayvarian Princess. Yep. Yep. You're absolutely right. Yep. My loyalty is Did rewarded. Have Dread Spears? That wasn't Dread Spears. That was, um... Nagaroth breeds weak warriors. Do not order me. Hmm... Loyal servant. And I'm broke. I can get Regiment of Renown. So looking at the garrison here, there's just no time to recruit anything. Um, Princess of Ulthran. 
Mm. Your words are nothing. Mm. Mm. Think about that. All right, let's have a look over here. No lord over here. Is that malice? No. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. We actually gain movement with that. Yep. Easy prey. They are nothing. Oh, that that might actually work. A They're split up now. Because now this one, waste my time. with oh, no, she might actually be I able to. Countless the Star Lance strikes. Oh no, I, I can get her. I can get her. Or I can get him. If I get him, then I can get this one next turn. Which would eliminate them. But I would what have to this? defend what against this. Three units. What type of wizard? Okay. With a one third strength. Hmm. May have to put a lord there. Yeah, this is the better option, I think. Strategically. Maybe try ambush her? Uh, nah, that kind of shit doesn't work. The chances of that working is like zero. That won't work. Our, our chance to ambush is is just really low. Just nah, there's no chance. Um, you may look upon me. And then we need to force march to here. This is my destiny. The goddess forbids it. Oh, I might actually be able to get through that. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, this was such a bad idea. <laughs> okay. Okay. What what are you? Oh, maybe maybe she's not necessarily worse than a wizard. Dark hearted fools. Defender of the Asir. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. What would you have of me? True son of Ulfwan. We stand ready for action. Don't you have walls on Dread Rock? Use the tail to shoot her a bit. Okay. What, what do you mean? Use the towers. My visions predict fate. No, I don't know. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. Um. I will not. This is a waste of money. I definitely should not have confederated them. Such a waste. I knew. I knew it was a bad idea. Weak warriors. Recruit a second lord here. Well, then they're standing outside the city. At least we'll have a siege defense here, and I might be able to do Defender. something about it in Ready. defense of the city. As long as she doesn't send another army over here. Be quick about it. If she sends another army, then I'm screwed. All right, I'll have this one come over here. I was going to use it to um, to secure influence, but I think if Keep there's the if we have any hope of defending this, I'm going to need to do this. Don't bother recruiting the global. Honestly, I'm, I'm gonna keep her. Oh, you know what? No, no, no. Let's get a wizard. Let's get a wizard. We got Peaky or Incompetence or this one here is highest level, which means we don't really want to sacrifice her, do we? Innervated? Yeah, get her. High Elven Archmage. She dies, no big deal. Alright. Is there any way to get Slash's Blade as Nakari? I don't know, sorry. I don't Another think so. For the 
I think only the Ecstatic Legion gets it. What is this foolishness? Okay, so with this, if I put in not a wizard here, but a princess, a princess will be able to defeat her because it's a beast wizard. Um, I need someone that's just not stupidly slow. Leisure Boris Eyes is fine. This is going to cost me a lot of money. <laughs> but... There we go, white lions are gone. Okay, okay. We don't need to be on mini eighth yet. Just, just don't be on foot. It saves me a lot of money. Anything that can save me some cash, we need to try to do. Give me some items, this isn't so bad. Because, yeah, this is not going to be a threat to us. I find glory wherever I fight. If I build this, I really run the risk of getting screwed over financially. Why did you replace the princess? Mm. I just don't think that she's as good as a life wizard in this situation here. Because I've got single entities. Uh, we've got a lord inside the garrison that is damaged. And um, using um, Awaking of the Woods is better than having an archer in that particular scenario. If Marathia assaults Vault Sanfor, we'll lose it anyway. Why not give an ambush a shot? If Marathi assaults, there's actually a good chance I can win. If I go into ambush dance there, I am pretty much guaranteed to fail. It's only a 45% chance of success, right? And what she does there is that she draws me outside the city. And she could attack us from a really awkward angle. Plus, even if we... Um, another thing that could happen is Tyrion could be coming over here as well. So, a lot of bad things that could happen. The chances of success of an ambush on that is so ridiculously low that doing it is actually stupid in that case there. It's really stupid. It will not work. It's like maybe like 5% chance I would actually succeed. There's too many factors that would ruin the ambush. It just, it isn't likely to happen. Um, Greatest of the dragon princes. Yeah, I still might need the dragon princes. Once we get rid of this lord here, we should be financially not completely ruined, but uh, we'll see how we go. Plus Dragon Fang Mount, money. That's a rich province, uh, rich region. Any new enemies? Nope. All right, we'll see how we go. Maybe Marathi will siege and Tyrion will kill her? Unlikely. Bound for glory, princess. Hmm, interesting. The All right. dragon shall wake. The dragon Take out this. Easy and oh, it's malice again. But yeah, we should just be able to order that. We got extra replenishment right now. Um, see you, malice. These fools have no That's chance. Okay. You will never hold us. How are we going financially? Son. Good. Dragon Fang mounts. You know, gems are useless to us, but a you know, bit of money. Now, this one over here, with just the Lord, I might actually be able to win against this. Princess of the Azure, you waste my time. With just this Lord. There's a chance I'll lose, but if I lose, I don't really lose anything. Apart from just taking another defeat. But there is a chance that I can win this. 
Because things to keep in mind is that we have the power of speed on our side. We've got 40 speed. They've got 40 speed. We can fire while moving. We got 40 ammunition. They're tired. I think I can win. And now she'll bring a second army. Yeah, you might be right. You might be right, she might. Like I said, um, confederating Kalidor was a bad idea. We had no idea that they just had no army. We, we had no defenses. I recruited everything that I possibly could as quickly as I could. Um, we got fucked the moment we, we got here. But you know what? It, uh, hopefully entertained you guys. But yeah, it was... I did say it was a bad choice. We should have just taken the influence. Okay, what you really need to be going for is this one. Okay, well actually maybe this one after all. Remember, it's not the end of the world if we lose. Uh, Peter Stillian did a five dollar super chat. Way to have an entertaining campaign. You got this, Legend. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. Yeah, yeah, campaign is not in any serious danger, but I don't think our return to Ulth 1 is, uh. gonna be a permanent one. I'd be very surprised if I won the siege. I'd be very surprised. Okay, stop shooting. I don't know if my lord's going to be able to handle that bleak sword. Okay, we can probably handle the last of these Black Heart Corsair hand bows, but I need to get them far away from the rest of them. Twelve shots left. Yeah, we should definitely fight them in melee. But just get them as far away from the rest of them as possible. Just use the dark conduit there. Okay, so apparently we're not winning. So yeah, like I said, we didn't need to win. Because what we're doing here is just doing tons of damage to them. So that when they reach the garrison... Because I need to disband this. Okay, there we go. Stop, 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 stop. I'm not going to give up just yet, but it doesn't look good. doesn't look good. <laughs> Alright, uh, how are we going to do this? How are we going to do this? I don't think I've got enough ammunition to kill the Lord. Nor the Bleak Sword. Oh, I think their shield blocked that. Son of a bitch. I got him. Oh, if only I had an extra 40 ammo. Yeah, see that... Mm. 
Okay, that's shattered. That's good. But yeah, I just don't know what we can do about the rest of this, so... That's okay. Like I said, it doesn't matter if we lose the battle. It's a strategic victory just because of the damage we've done to them. Alright. Bit, old, bit of an old Skaven victory. Lose the battle, win the war. So I'll send her into fight, just that last little bit, because we've got to disband her at the end of this battle, because we're not going to be able to attack again, it's not Warhammer 3. Just kill as many of those bleak swords as possible. Alright, that's fine. Now the army's been damaged enough that it's not going to be able to capture any of the settlements. What if you withdraw and go back in? I can't. It's not Warhammer 3. When you lose a battle, you lose all your movement. And also, this used up all of our movement getting in here. In here. That, that's Warhammer 3. This is Warhammer 2. When you lose a battle in Warhammer 2, you lose all your movement. That's fine. We didn't have any items attached. You didn't die. That's fine. Asurian, please forgive me. Because I had to disband her anyway. And now, wherever this one goes, it's going to be a lot easier to deal with it. Because we took out a lot of those Black Art Corsair Hambos. So, it's a strategic victory for us. I know it may not seem like it. And we're in the green, so that's good. Alright, we need to upgrade this for money. Yes, ooh, five grand. Cancel that. Alright, let's have a look at this. <laughs> okay, so let's see what we got. We got uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh, 11 there. Then, how am I going to count this? This is a, actually a quarter strong, so that's 12, 13, well, 14 units versus 19. Too many shields. Hmm. Hmm. Twenty versus twenty. It's not really twenty versus twenty because these are super damaged. No chance at all. And just let me think. There's also that she doesn't have twenty. If we attack and they take a defensive position, which I have no idea if they're actually going to do that. They will take. They should take a defensive position. If they take a defensive position, we can cheese away all the ammunition. And then turn this into a choke point battle. She's got 75 wins. I'm going to try it. I'm probably going to lose. But you never know. So she was probably going to take a defensive position. Probably. But I just don't know. Don't choke it. Yeah, look, I'm probably not going to win. But we should end up, at the very least, doing a lot of damage to her. Alright, reinforcements don't show up at the start. Let's take this position over here. Unlimited power. Storm Riders. And are those with shields? They're just regular dark shards for the most part, aren't they? Noble. And yeah, we'll just see how we go. If we don't end up winning, it's fine. Understood. Not the end of the world. We just get kicked out of Ulthwan. Easy come, easy go. Noble. Nope, they're coming. Shit, I need to get over there now then. They are not going to wait. 
Okay, but they're coming at us in waves. We need to make use of this. Them coming at us in waves might be our saving grace. What's that? I have to manually click that. Uh, Ed Atkins did a five pound super chat. Hi, Legion. Since you were disaster replay, only the Master Toad of War has a chance of winning it. Love the streams. Uh, okay, thanks, dude. I don't really like getting replays, but we'll see. Uh, Garrett Ratchford did a five pound super chat. Do AI factions have infinite money in diplomacy negotiations? How does Carl France have 16k to give me when he has two settlements left? They don't have infinite money. I guess he just hasn't had a chance to spend it. But thanks for Super Chat. Draw them over here. This hill here is not the most amazing thing. Move back just a little bit. Got a little bit of time with them. Get around on this flank over here. Shields. Maybe, maybe don't shoot the hero. I don't think that's great idea. Shoot. Definitely shoot the witch elves there. What we want to do here is try to get their heroes, uh, their units, to turn around so we're shooting into their shields. So we're not shooting into their shields. I mean. This is working. This is so far working. Spearman, brave and true. Oh, I think I missed that. Good the there. Winds. Noble. The winds from me. I am ready. Spearman. Noble. Understood. I will go. Rising. Son of Ulfwan. Duty calls. Yes. Moving out! Master of sorcery! Seeking fate! Kill them! Asur! Atar! Lakoi! Failure is impossible! Fortetless! Can I be praised? Orders are probably best we just ignore Marathi as much as possible. Okay, the um, Charybdis uh, War Hydra, kill it. Kill Marathi, kill Marathi, kill Marathi. Uh, the Hydra's dead. Marathi's going down on me. <laughs> she's, got, she's dying. Okay, 
Get her for fuck. Get that chaos corrupted ass and smack it. Alright, I want all archers shooting at this dark shot here. It's the only one that's left that's of any serious value, I think. We got we got rid of Marathi. She got wounded. That was really the best course of action. Did I just win? I think I just fucking won. I just fucking won! <laughs> oh my god. Jesus. You don't see this in Warhammer 3. Yeah, okay, it was just the garrison noble that died. Understood. Storm riders. All right, we'll, we'll probably not catch them. And you know what the great thing is now? We have a lord that has defeated Marathi. You know what that means? She is essentially earned her immortality. She'll never be recruited. Heroic victory. Damn. Our army's good at, uh, still in enough good shape that we could probably finish them off. Obi-Wan did a five pound super chat. King of Cheese is back. Alan Chandler, you're right. I miss this. Yeah, you just, you don't get this in Warhammer 3. You just don't get it. It doesn't, it just doesn't happen. All right, cool. I will take that replenishment. They'll spare us your hands from toil. Nice. All right, and now we've got a little bit of time to build this, so that's that's good. I don't have any administrators, so I'm not going to get that done quicker. Magic in purest form. God be good. You have the nerve to. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. Doesn't look like there's another army out this way. Doesn't look like it. Uh, doesn't mean that there isn't. I bring Azurian's fire. We might be able to push to Torsethai as well. Maybe. Archmage. Well, True she magic. is. Yeah. I'm just gonna go. That way we know not to recruit her again. She's done. Alright, yeah, you can go next. High Elvin Archmage. I mean, Marathi's gone, but still, let's, um, let's see what we can do here. Uh, sir, high Elvin Fuck, I saw High Elves! Tyrion. Alright, I need to fight this manually. Uh, Ed Atkins did a 5 pen series. I meant I sent you a disaster 
replay. Save disaster replay. You are the master, my lord cheese. Save disaster replay. Uh, okay, I, I, okay, that's cool. Thanks, super chat. Um, I don't, I, like I said, I don't really like getting replays. Uh, Imperial devastated a five dollars chat. That battle was truly heroic indeed. Good job, man. Glad you're having fun today. Yeah, it is. It is. This is fun. Thanks, super chat. Appreciate it. All right. I don't think we need to check aboard because we've got the range advantage, and we should take this um, opportunity here to. Try to heal as much as possible. But yeah, I saw some high elves. It, it only looked like it was one lord, but maybe I just didn't look. Enough. Then we get rid of that dude. As you say. To the fray! The most potent spell. Acknowledge. Asra! Attack! You mean save file? Oh, save file. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, just so you know, a save file and a replay are two completely different things. So, yeah, if you send me a disaster save file, cool. I'll see if I can get to it tomorrow. <laughs> Man. This is why language is important, okay? There's, there's two completely different things. But yeah, that, that makes sense. For I mean save file. Yeah, look, if it's a save file, that's fine. But he said replay. <laughs> okay. I do get sent replays from people, and I'm just like, I don't want it. I don't want your replays. Don't save my disaster super chest, please. Yeah, yeah, it, uh, dude. If you sent a disaster save file, it's all good. It's all good. Sorry, just you said disaster replay <laughs> twice. Not fear our cool. So we're gonna need to try to replenish as much as we can. What does all lesser beings deserve? Oh, uh, Tyrion. Oh, come on, man. Absolutely. Can't you let me have a break? <laughs> okay. Well, no. so here's the thing. He may not have a siege attacker in his army, right? If I go to Torsethai, I might be able to pick up a few troops. The winds were with us. And Magic smack his bum next turn, but I have to get over here first. Because we can pick up six units, something like that. Hi there, love your channel. Quick noob question. What's the difference between Mortal Empires and Immortal Empires? Okay, Mortal Empires is the the uh, big sandbox experience in Warhammer 2. Immortal Empires is the big sandbox experience in Warhammer 3. Um, both are good, but not. it's not one is clearly better than the other. And so there's a bit of a divide between the community at the moment, which is very unfortunate. Like, Immortal Empires should be better in all regards than Mortal Empires. But it isn't. Not yet. It probably will be eventually, but it isn't yet. Aren't all legendary Lord Siege attackers now? Ah, uh, this is Warhammer 2, dude. So, no. Rylanor, the Unyielding, did a HUF 2000 damnation. Super Chat. Damn, I will reinstall Warhammer 2 after this. I miss my High Elves. Yeah, no worries, dude. I will not tarry. I uh, hope you enjoy it.
He may still have the bolt thrower catapult. He doesn't start off with one. Yeah, he doesn't start off with one. And it's only turn 17. So the chances of him having one is actually really low. Yeah, Tyrion doesn't start off with one in Warhammer 2. Again. In Warhammer 3, he does. Doesn't he? I can't remember. Yeah, in Warhammer 2, he starts off with Ithilmar Chariots. Um, Lothar and Seaguard, uh, Silver Helms, a Spear, an Archer, I think that's it. Yeah, he doesn't start off with Artillery in Warhammer 3. Can I ask what exactly you dislike with Warhammer 3 High Elves? Yeah, sure. Um, it, it's, it has a lot to do with how the game functions overall, right? So, in Warhammer 2, you got to also understand that the High Elves in Warhammer 3 will be compared to the High Elves in Warhammer 2. Now, the High Elves in Warhammer 2 have some of the best campaigns in the game because you're hyper-aggressive, you hit the ground running, they're challenging campaigns because the enemies throw a lot of force at you. Ulthuan gets invaded very early on, as you can see here, like... Marathi's already taken a lot of territory. A walk in Ulthuan's you know, Marathi is the early invasion in Ulthuan. Um, no matter which uh, high elf you play, you've got quite a bit of challenge. Um, but they've also got quite a lot of powerful mechanics. Now, in Warhammer 3, the AI throws no challenge at you. Absolutely none. No matter which high elf you play, it's easy. All right? In addition to that, the high elves overall power have been reduced because a lot of cool things that they used to have they don't have anymore they got it taken away so they got a nerf but the enemy also got a nerf and what it ends up is is it feels like high elves are on training wheels it feels like you're on like you're on baby mode and that's just not fun because i liked what i enjoy as a high elf player is challenging campaigns where the ai throws lots of force at us but we have the tools to overcome a overwhelming odds and in Warhammer 3, you have a powerful faction that has slightly dull tools and enemies that are so brain dead that they just don't ever put up a fight. In addition to that, the High Elves just have such a hard time confederating. Wherein, like in this campaign here, confederation is actually going to be quite difficult because this is a total war campaign. But typically speaking, High Elves are very diplomatic. And in Warhammer 3, like, I remember I played a Tyrion campaign in, in uh, Early Access, right? And I got some trade agreements with High Elves. And I thought to myself, cool, cool, cool. And I went and just did some other stuff. And then shortly after getting a trade agreement with Illyrian over here, they were plus 30 relations and they cancelled their trade agreement with me. I was like, what the fuck? Like, wh that, that it didn't make any sense whatsoever. Like, I only had one army, and they considered me their main threat, so they cancelled their trade agreement, despite the fact that they were at war with fucking Nakari, who I was also at war with. You know, diplomacy in Warhammer 3 within the High Elves is just fucking stupid. High Elven it's absolutely nonsense. In Warhammer 2, it makes sense. You know, the High Elves never break treaties if they like you. They never break them. They are super reliable. Um, be careful about getting a military alliance with Tyrion, because he could drag you into a few wars. Um, Absolutely not. Oh shit, he can actually make it here. I bring Azurian's fire. Oh god, he can actually make it here. Hmm. Uh, Thalusa, Thalusa did a fight awesome chat. Love seeing Warhammer 2. I still feel that Warhammer 2 is finer experience compared to Warhammer 3 for now at least. Yeah, I agree. Thanks for the chat. Oh, damn. High Elven Archmage. Damn. Never. He's still on foot. He may actually have artillery. He is Not at possible. tier 3. Oh, it's actually turn 20. Master of magic. Can you block him with the noble? No, nobles don't do that. No, they don't block. Hmm. 
No. Trained by the white. I don't have any more regiment of renown I can get, do I? No. Hmm. I don't know if there's anything I can do there. Recruit a second lord. I don't think that'll make a huge difference. Maybe. Prince of Calador. I think it's far more likely he'll attack the the Lord and the arm in the. Mm. All right, let me think about this. Chris O did a ten pound super chat. Worm three high off diplomacy isn't stupid. Tyrion and Lario just have rabies, going around attacking all the other high off factions and ignoring everyone else invading Ulthuan. That's pretty stupid. But, okay, thanks for the chat. Alright, here's what I'm thinking, here's what I'm thinking, here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. I cannot. He is probably going to attack Torsethai. Probably. But, if I put a Lord here and recruit, he will be probably more inclined to attack us here. I've just blocked him. The traitors have strengths indeed. Okay, we've just prevented him from being able to get to um to Torsethai. He can't do it now because our zone of control has blocked him. However, however, I will study here. However, that leaves me standing outside the city with five units defending it. Um, here's the problem. Sorcery. Here's the problem. Um, what we need to do in this sorcerer. situation here, in order to successfully survive the, the, the situation, when Tyrion attacks this army standing outside the settlement, she needs to die. And then these ones here needs to leave the battlefield. She has to die. Because if she lives, she'll fall back to here, and then I won't be able to retreat. She has to die in the battle. It's the only way. She has to die. I'll leave, uh, yeah, no point building that because he's going to besiege it. That'll give me 17 units, which is more than what he's got. And maybe I'll stand a chance. Maybe. I remember some developer said he intentionally not fixed Entrepreneur, said the statements changed for the sake of lowering number of playstyles. Uh, yeah, that seems about right. Yeah. Oh, that's fine. Hey, hey, if you don't want people playing your game, then then do that. That's up to, look, if that, that's Creative Assembly's right to, to do that. It's their game. And if they think that uh, reducing the number of playstyles it makes a better game, then I'm not playing it. Like I said, I'm not playing High Elves in Worm 3. And it's, look, to be honest, the entrepreneur thing is actually not that big of a deal. I'm actually more annoyed about High Elf Diplomacy because it works better in Warhammer th uh, 2 than it does in 3. No, we can't do that this turn. Can't you get any more heroes? No, I'm maxed out. Unless I, unless I disband, unless I disband one of these, I've got a shit one here that's just a nothing. If I disband him, then I can. That's actually a good idea.
Yeah, get rid of this one. Greatest of the dragon prince. Ah, oh, crap. Now oh, we didn't get the replenishment. What if I did? of Ulswai. I will continue soon. I have much to teach them. There we go. There we go. Okay, and then I come over here and Master. recruit. Now, it's also possible that another one will be sent in over here. So let's just get divisive because public order here doesn't I seem to matter that much. Orders. And that way we will Trained have 18 units. Good idea. I'm not getting rid of the other two because they're good traits. So this is a bit iffy next turn. Definitely a bit not iffy. Possible. Like I said, she needs to die in that battle. Is Why not move your army outside Torsethai? When he attacks, concede defeat before army reinforces and recruit the wizard in Vol's Anvil. Uh, because then I won't get anything recruited, and then all we're doing is delaying the inevitable by one turn. I need to recruit. If I put the wizard in Vol's Anvil and recruit from here, he still might attack it. If I do he this, we advisor. guarantee that he can't get here. We guarantee it. William T did a final super chat. First 50 turns when I should start making military builds as Avalon. Uh, I've just been making econ buildings with stacks of dried armies. Yeah, that's up to you. Yeah, you do whatever you want. I think that's fine. Thanks, super chat. Alright. Alright. Still no sign of the Skaven. So, Haunted Forest. Why don't we go with a bit of growth there? So, how long, how long have we got this? Three turns. Okay. L incoming? Oh, yeah, for sure. There's definitely an L incoming. Let's go with this. Um, Magic in purest form. I don't think that'll give us another recruit. But let's just see. Hoeth has forsaken us. So here we go. Oh, he might even bring in another army. I mean, he's strength ranking one. He typically doesn't go and send his army to go and fight the Dreadfleet. He just... Yeah. Alright, do we have any other enemies we've got to declare war on? No. Alright, moving on. Oh, we don't have an option to withdraw. Oh my god, yeah. Uh, we're doomed. Unfortunately, the plan didn't actually end up working. He had two armies ready to go. There's no way we can win this. But uh, what we want to do here is um, immediately concede defeat. Because we're not going to do anything to them. Um, just to save the garrison. If we save the garrison, then they have to besiege the settlement. But Tyrion might just be able to, um... Um... Because, yeah, I don't have the... Oh, I do have the option to withdraw. That's interesting. Okay, never mind. Yeah, just immediately... Don't, not immediately withdraw them, but withdraw them in a moment. Um, the donut is lost. Yeah, they just sent way too much at us before I had a chance to, to recover. I, could, I couldn't do anything about it, but we'll see. Maybe Tyrion will back off, <laughs> or maybe I'll actually beat him. I don't know. I did the best I could, but I, I just couldn't see what was the head out this way. A prudent position. Destiny sends me. I will triumph. See, don't forget, she needs to die in this battle. Stand still and die. Witness true magic. Retreating. Come on, need you to die. This isn't going to work unless you die. Come on, need you to die.
Got a theory that derping AI is a cost of end turn time for big map. CA didn't optimize it and just had make bot passive as duck. Possibly. Possibly. Why does she need to die again? Um, because otherwise she'll be standing outside the settlement and they'll just give another opportunity to attack us. The other army is a garrison sitting inside the settlement. Yeah, that's fine. So it didn't get wiped out. So now we just got to see what ha ends up happening here. No! No! Oh, all my plans have failed! <laughs> Damn it. All my plans have failed. Alright, what's the chances of us actually winning this? Oh, I needed another turn! I have no hope. There's no hope in hell here. I'll do the best I can, but there's no hope in hell. It seemed like they just had two armies. No matter what we would have done, if I had left the, the army inside the settlement or whatever, nothing would have worked. If we had left this army outside the settlement, sure, we could have left it, let it survive, but he would have been right on our tail. We never would have survived. Uh, see you labs at a five dollar super chat. Here's a tip to show appreciation for the content, man. Can we good work? All right, thanks, dude. Yeah, if I don't win this, which I don't think is possible, we are just so badly outpowered here. I needed a turn to recruit. It just didn't work. Done. Unfortunately, we spent a lot of money on recruitment, which we won't get back. But I'll see what I can do, uh, which is not much in this case here. We're just so badly outpowered. Understood. Freaking Tyrion. Understood. Archers. At least he's got Lotho and Seaguard, which um, they don't have the range of regular archers. Fail. As you say. Uh, and we might be able to derp them a bit. I see my At least you got the defeat trait. Yeah, I got one Failure defeat trait. We'll see how we go, we'll see how we go. But yeah, I don't see how we're going to bloody overcome this. It's just wait. Oh, hang on, hang on, look at this, look at this, this is pretty stupid. Yeah, 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 this is, this is really stupid of them. Unless spray. they dodge my ammo. I sally Loyal. There's no hope. <laughs> we can't dish out enough damage to these units. Oh, what are these? It's many Lyrian Reavers. Oh, God. Should've just let Marathi keep us under siege. In hindsight. See what I can do. At least, at least we're, we've wiped out the Silver Helmet Lick. It doesn't matter, like, if we don't win here... Then we're kicked out of Wolf 1, and we're not going to be back here for a real long time. Maxime Lozarch became in for five months. Cheers, Legend. Alright, thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. About these offense guard here. Setting forth, Asa, attack. Witness true magic for our ancestors. We will obey. Asturian guides us. Noble, moving out. Oh, there's Tyrion there as well. Yeah, no, we're fucked. Right here. Right, the battle's gone fairly well. But we're just too badly outpowered. Behold my power! Archers! I will go! Asurian! Yeah. No, we're doomed. Me.
Get, get ready for army losses. His army was just like impossible to overcome. Impossible. We wiped out a few of his units, but that uh, that uh, that kicked us out of Ulth one. But you know what the funny thing is? Is that uh, that will actually leave us with a lot more money for the Darklands. To be fair, even if you got to recruit this one round, it'd be hard to send this one. Yeah, given that he had two full stacks, it would have been hard, indeed. Yeah, there was there was no hope of staying here. Like when we confederated them, we had nothing. Um, the path of pain became member for thirty-three months. Appreciate you, legend. All right, thanks, dude. Appreciate the support. We had nothing. Oh my god, and they wounded my other noble there. Okay. Well, our welcome home was not so welcome. Oh, I picked up another unit. I needed a recruit lord there. At least we had fun. We gave it a shot. We gave it a red hot shot. But in hindsight, we should have just taken the influence. There's no hope here. Alright, well, we've been kicked out of Ulth 1. Alright, we gave it a shot. But look at that money. Look, Yeah, trying to hold on to it was just not really worth it. Alright, we did get rid of that noble, so we're going to need another one to replace it, but um, we'll see how we go. The dragon shall wake. Is this an overall net positive as being taken off Ulth 1? You will now meet less factions. Uh, it's It, it was just dragon like... Rider. Gave it a... It doesn't matter if we meet less factions out that way because they're not going to travel all this way over here. It doesn't make any difference. It's just a case of if we could have stayed there, we could have maybe defeated Tyrion. Maybe if the problem was when we confederated Kalidor, they had no army. They had already been destroyed, so we just we had no time to set up. I recruited as quickly as I could. All right, we've got an army coming to Shadowstone Isle, but we shouldn't need that much to take it out. Although Dragon... Oh, sorry, Shadowstone Isle. Okay. My visions predict failure. The goddess forbids it. We need a princess. No. Poltroon, that's fine. I serve the Phoenix King. Okay. Loyalty is we should come to here just in case. Uh, yeah, just go to there. I'm fairly sure I can repel that, but if they do occupy it, I'll I'll swing back around. Right. Well, at least we got more money, so we can grab that. Cause yeah, I need to, I need to get back over here. We've got other shit to kill out this way. What is this foolishness? Asur Princess. Problem here though is that the garrison is very badly damaged. I got no regiment of renown left. We are ill at ease. If she had recruited outside of Taurus Sethi, would that have given you one more turn? No. No, because Tyrion would have um, would have prevented her recruitment. It, she would have, he would have cancelled it, and I would not have been able to attack his army with that. I could have gone to White Peak, but then I would have just been defeated the next turn. Yeah. Unfortunately, when we arrived here, Tyrion was basically here being just waiting for us to de be declared war on. <laughs> so, 
Uh, just I couldn't do anything about it. If uh, if when I confederated them, they actually had an army, maybe we would have stood a chance. But that just isn't what happened. Deconstruct buildings. You can't deconstruct buildings if you're under siege. Like, can't do it. It's too late. It's all good. It's all good. It's just gone. All right, and let's upgrade Pig Barton now. And upgrade the Haunted Forest there. Because, yeah, financially we're okay. Order must be maintained. Greatest of the Dragon Princes. Actually, cancel that. I want to recruit a noble to scout ahead up this way. And also try to secure some influence. Squishy or pigeon chest? It goes pigeon. Squishy. I await your command. Now the funny thing here is that the fact that we have met Tyrion. Yeah, forget about this. It's over. The fact that we've met Tyrion might mean that at the some point follows. we might be able to confederate him. Maybe. So we'll have to see how that goes. Defeat. How fast is this dude? 36. We're 40. Alright, I think I know what I need to do here. The problem, firstly, is that they have Dark Conduit, so that's worth a lot in Balance of Power. So, since our character here is faster than all of their characters, what we do is we put our garrison to hide so that they, they don't go after it. And then we use up our ammo uh, to do as much damage to them as possible. Specifically on the single entities because our garrison can't handle that very well at all. Uh, this map sucks. It's really small. Okay. Stay there. Don't shoot. Yeah, they got shields. Okay. Daughter of Ulguan. Asturian wills it. Understood. Parathoi. I was playing high off music. Oh, she's mi she's overcasting stuff. What, a, what an idiot! They're actually overcasting things. Send them on a bit of a wild goose chase, make them tired. Yeah, look, look at that. She's overcasting stuff. She's gonna get killed if she keeps this up. Don't you need plan of fighting the dragons? Yeah, as soon as I can. As soon as I can fight them. If you do it too early, you'll bloody lose the battle, and it's not worth it. Especially in this total war situation. Shield breaker effect. We don't have that. It's starting to catch up a little bit. She's going down. Channeling our inner Advance. wood elf here. Princess so bad, I swear. Oh, she's fine. She's doing... She's doing fine.
Enemy Lord's almost dead. Defeating the uh, the master is a little bit more difficult because of his uh, silver shield, which is worth fifty five percent missile block. Is it worth spamming chariots with Cetra? That kind of shit. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. In the uh, in Warhammer 3 in the early game, it's okay to get a few chariots, but late in the campaign, I wouldn't bother. They're just too low tier. Come on, one more hit. Got her. Cool, 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 cool. Although this guy is catching up to me. We are faster than him, and we're just as tired. Alright, just go fire at will. And every bit of damage we can do to him will make a difference. His masters are pretty damn strong. I'm just not doing enough damage to him. Fucking shields. Alright, got another idea. Let's get... A spearman up this way. So they change directions. Yep, and shoot him in the back. Okay. Now we... No, 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 not yet, not yet, not yet. Just keep luring that one away. I just can't really deal with it right now. But we can use our army here and overcome this bleak sword relatively easily, I think. While this one's distracted. Because, yeah, that master is the the problem here. I just can't deal with it properly. Now they get another lord? It doesn't matter. we got to save the city. <laughs> They'll get another lord if they win the battle as well. Plus they're exhausted. Spearmen. Another thing to keep in mind is that we haven't used up their dark conduits, so... We should really try not to stay in melee with it. And just try to derp it around. Okay. Just feign a charge here. Then get away from it because they're going to explode. Didn't. This way, at least we're bypassing those shields a bit. Surprised they didn't use a dark conduit. Okay, it's gone. Just uh, just run it off the battlefield. Don't worry about wiping it out. I need the ammunition for, <laughs> for this one over here. Just run it off the battlefield. Alright, I gotta lure this one back around. Alright, if we have a look at her combat stats, 67-57 to his 39-53. He, she should actually be able to beat him, apart from the fact that he has cheats. Because it's on very high battle difficulty, which we know on Warhammer 2 is pretty bloody extreme. Come on, how is he catching up to us? How the hell did he catch up For the king. to us there? What the hell? Okay, he's changed directions. Cool. Shoot him in the flank. Okay, 
Okay, well, there's their dark conduit. Gotta find some way to kill this dude. I think we got him. I think we got, we got him. We just go into melee with him. With Spearman and the Lord, we should be able to beat him. Let's use up our ammo first. Now kill him in melee. Uh, we got still got ammo. There's no sense in not using that first, because we're still going to have to deal with him afterwards. Yeah, they're about to get the army losses. Swiftly, we away. Asa, move. Assyrian wills it. Oh, fight. Where we go? Okay, it'd be great if he could die. Now, our lord is faster than him. There, that's right. When they're when the battle's over, they lose their fatigue penalty. It's as if they're fresh. So, I can't catch him. Per Svensson did a 50 SDK super chat. This actually feels like legendary, unlike most of Wormit 3 streams I've seen. Cheers to great content. No, dude, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Thanks for super chat. Sucks we got kicked out of Ulth 1, but... You know, there's only so much I can do when you, you don't have any troops. At least we got rid of Marathi. They may go. So yeah, they'll get a new lord, but that's okay. It's another wizard. As long as it's not a fire or death wizard, it should should be fine. And I think they're standing right outside the settlement, so the garrison should come out and help. So I think we got that. How much of your enjoyment of Wormit 3 would improve if the campaign AI was tuned to Wormit 2 levels? Let's just put it this way. I would enjoy Warhammer 3 a lot more if they had just imported everything from Warhammer 2 into Warhammer 3 as is. Changing very little. Including AI cheats. cheats. But I don't know, they I guess they felt like they had to mess around with stuff. Orders? Ask. Lady of the Phoenix Court. Rally to me, Asun. There we go. Good stuff. We have no need for prisoners. And that's the end to have grief. Good. That's a good item. Princess. That's a good item for a wizard. Mm. I'll give that to you later. The dragon shall wake. All right, let's see what's going on over here. <laughs> I, I knew it. I knew that they would be just coming around the corner. Uh, okay, so it just depends on which settlement they go for. They'll probably go for Pig Barter. So, just cancel this. It's, uh, we're going to lose Pig Barter. <laughs> it just, I can't get there in time, but I can't be bothered recruiting anything. Uh, let's see. Yeah, just get to there. Follow me to glory. Okay. Cool. Well, at least this is kind of secure now. Um, the actually, they might not get to Pig Barter. I might be able Absolutely to get there before them. Not. So they might go to the Haunted Forest then. Well, I'll just save up that growth and maybe build up Flayed Rock instead. You can put the Way Shard on a Noble. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I guess I could. Yep. Yeah, we don't want to lose emollient. Alright, what else we got in here? Yeah, I can't do can't to um expand the other one. The vile rodents are everywhere. Put him back on a dragon. Yes, financially we... No, 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 not this turn. Next turn. They, there's no battle that can happen over the end turn. As far as I'm aware. I knew that they were on the way. Just, It just felt like it was about time for them to come over. Alright, and let's move on. Wrong item. Oh, right, I see what you mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, did I declare war on everyone? Pretty sure I did, but let me just double check. Yeah, all good. Oh, they are gonna go for it. Okay. Well, I won't be able to launch the attack on him, but I will be able to force march to Pig Barter. And I'm pretty sure we'll be able to stop him there, especially since I'll be on a dragon. My, my biggest concern here is that he is just going to jump around and look for an easy target. But there's always a chance that I'll intercept him, because our army is a bit better than his. It's likely that's not his only army. Do you know what's funny, though? If I had recruited a lord here... I probably could have attacked with that one. It's too late now. Maybe that's what I need to be doing. Only the Asur may enter. Alright. So, he might go... Oh, shit. I'm not going for that. I'm going to go for Shattered Cove instead. So, let's put a Lord in here. Yeah, this will do. So that if they jump down here, Imrit can at least force march to catch up. Of course, he could jump over this way as well. I'm just going to guess where he's going to go. I really doubt he'll attack um, Pig Barter. I really, really doubt it. Um, I guess I could have developed it. Just leave it. Just leave it. But yeah, fighting Skaven in this province here is really difficult because of how they're able to jump around. That's why I'd like to take out uh, Eshin straight away. Alright, and over here, yep. Financially, we're in pretty good shape, I suppose. Can you stack entrepreneur lords, or do they have to be present in a region for their effects to be there? They have to be present, yeah, so don't do that. It's not worth it. Yeah, I fucking knew it. Friggin' no ball, Skaven. Incomparable skill! All right, we've got to keep our eye on him. What do you require? On to adventure. <sighs> Not enough warpstone. <laughs> I must attack the easiest settlement I could find. I see the winds. Or master of high. Ah oh, crap! You got no movements. Against council orders. I was just thinking, what if I force march this one? To try to get attacked, but it's not the gonna. Yeah, but we really don't want to get ambushed by him. That would not be good. Although we got to keep in mind as well, I actually have uh, ambush defense chance plus thirty percent. So if I'm standing here, it's actually ten percent chance. Actually less than that, unless he's got cunning characters. So the chances of him actually ambushing us is really low. Unless he's going to force march. Oh, look at that. They're actually going to give it a shot. 
they're stronger than me. They've probably got another army coming. Looks like we're going to lose Darkhold. <laughs> um... Hmm. Okay, we'll get rid of this Hi, one. This, I can't do anything with her. Strategy beyond compare. Do you take me for a wizard? Throw a life wizard in here. Hmm. See how that goes. Yeah. And loyalty is all. Yeah, the timing on this just isn't really very good. Talk up. Don't forget to put Emmerich back in his jargon. Yeah, that's a good point. Let's do that. Prince of Calador. The vile rodents are everywhere. Son of the Phoenix. Hmm. I don't think there's anything I can do to stop this. I don't have Regiment of Renown available, and it's it's too strong. Um. I'm just trying to, trying to bloody catch the bastard. Wouldn't a Metal Wizard be better for the AP bombardment? Um, I don't think it's as armor piercing. Mm, actually, it's not a bad idea. Thing is, I'd have to recruit a new one. Actually, I think you're right. You're right. Let's go with a metal wizard. Uh, minus five wins of magic's not a big deal. Master of high. Yeah, I think I think you might actually be right there. Okay, and Great then, design. yeah, the problem here is I just can't catch this dude. Is blocking army with wizard too risky? Calador wakes. I don't know if she can make it there. I cannot obey. She might be able to. The gods test my resolve. That's a, that's a good idea. That's not too risky either. Uh <gasps> Genius! 64% chance. Hey, at least it gives me a chance. They shall know suffering. <laughs> There's a chance that they might not be able to make it to the haunted forest next turn. That's actually a fair distance away from it. <laughs> Game's like, you're doing too well. Hey, I have no luck at all. But I keep getting this one here. Master of high magic. All right. He might not be able to reach the haunted forest. Could not. You have my attention. Yeah, he does. It he doesn't look like he can make it there next turn. We've actually got him cornered, kind of. No, blame you, you. You may look upon me. Yeah, his chances of ambushing us are really low as well. So, okay. Well, we'll just we'll just see how we go. Get Ashen Fields later. You must restore order. Master of high magic. Let's do what I can there. Have I got any regiments of renown? Oh yeah, we've got a couple. Oh shit, a lot of money. Maybe hold Master off with Imric. I wield the winds. Who knows? That might give us a chance. Maybe. We'll see. Oh shit, we're really close to revolt there. Not a big deal. Oh uh, no, finances. <laughs> I 
It's the only way to make sure I'm not taking attrition next turn. Scholar Supreme. Dragon Prince. Master of High Magic. Noble son of Ulthus. Either that'll take him off his dragon, but what happens if he attacks us? Skaven are devious creatures. Mm, can't change it anyway. Let's go deal with it. Let's go deal with it. Disband Lord? No, no, no. I need to. I need all of them. I need them. Disband Lord near Imric. No, no, no. I need this Lord to be able to launch the attack. He's probably gonna like run out over here. The oath. Or something. I, I need that Lord there. All right, and we'll just see how that goes. Let's move on. If you lose, you have enough money. If you win, you get more money. Yeah. Seek safety. Yeah. Okay. So as long as Imric has some chance of. <laughs> okay, it's fine. At least, at least we bought ourselves a bit of time there. We didn't go broke, so that's okay. The last All right, I think we may actually have a chance of catching him. Standing by. Yeah, I think I think we got him. I think we got him. I think we've got him. Archmage. I think we've got him. I need to stand right there. Seeking glory. He'll run a little bit. I should be able to force march him, and I should be able to catch him with with the other one. Are you fucking there kidding I me, man? Oh, I just can't catch these fucking rats. Not enough warp stone. <laughs> okay, you, at least you get another chance here. Oh, no, you don't. I don't have any money. Poeth sees all. The most gifted. I see Movement bug. Wins. Oh! <laughs> That's right, this game has a movement bug. I miss the peaks of Kalidor. Master of high magic. Ali! Led by the winds. True son of Ulfwan. You son of a bitch! <laughs> oh, I took out the wrong one. Oh well. Onward for Canada. Follow the dragon. Gotcha. We need not fear our lessons. Thanks, dude. That was really helpful. Their lives for coins. True magic guides me. Safari's servant. All right, this this right here. I will share my experience. All right, cool. You can have some time off of that. Guide me. Glory awaits. Brave son yeah, okay, of okay, I am okay, a of That's okay. Mage. I sense items of All right, power. just in case that happens next time. Get yourself an extra success chance. Strategy beyond compare. Oh, this Born dude, this idiot's lead. back. Okay, that's good. Abel. For honor. Yeah, use them to scatter around. If only you could sell items. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, that would that would definitely help. You may look upon me. I wield 
against the winds. All right, their other army is sitting at Mount Greyhag. So, do you know what they could do? They could actually jump in the underway over here with it. It's um, it's 12 units plus 13 units, so 25 units. We've got six. What do you require? Should have actually attached this hero into the army. That way, I could have denied enemy reinforcements. It's too late now. No, I will not shame my clan. Well, we do have a dragon, so we'll just see how that goes. Imrik will just need to try to catch up as much as he can. High Elven Archmage. I could recruit another lord and stand outside the city here. Nah, that that isn't gonna work. You must restore order. I just don't have any more money for construction here. Alright, well, I've done everything that I can. Just need to get over here and put the smack down on them. We'll go for Mount Greyhag first. Hopefully she'll be able to defend this. Uh, Sisters of Avalon's Imba now. What the fuck is Imba? I'm just kidding. I know what it is now. <laughs> uh, Sisters of Avalon have always been unbalanced. Because, oh, at least on campaign, they've always been shit in multiplayer, as far as I'm aware. Um, and it's just because they have a lot of utility in campaign. Tradition is maintained. The dragon shall wake. Noblemen, I have much to teach them. All right, we're good. We're good. Have courage. We're good. Very good. They're back off. My attention. All right. Greatest of the dragons. Let's get moving. Purest sorcery. Okay, cool. Yeah, just stay Our here age. to prevent them from launching an attack here while we head over to Mount Greyhag. Noble son of. Fulton. I await your orders. Smash it to ruin! Yay! A successful action. <laughs> cool. And the great thing about this is that we actually get the influence, you know, over time as opposed to just instantly and only for one turn, like in Warhammer 3. So that's good. Alright, but I got no money. I got no money. Would it be fun to mod all the good changes from Women 3 into Women 2? Yeah, if you could put item fusing, item selling, um, quick deal, item trading. I can't think of anything else. Uh, level 50 cap. Four percent supply lines. If you could put that into Warhammer 2, perfect game. Oh, and of course the big map. Pride of Ulswine. Oh, I've only got a half stack. As you were. Oh wait, 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 wait. We do the, we do the thing. Right. Imric doesn't have to be the one to go and do it. I'll just send a lord to go and do it because that will that will honestly be better than having to come over here and then go all the way back over there. We just got to keep moving. So I will do this. I will do this. Um, if I'm not mistaken, when you challenge the dragon, it has a it has a um, mark for Imric to fight. I'm fairly sure. I await your command. There will be carnage. Oh, that's fine. These things happen. Live and you learn. Big on. True son of Ulkwan. Destruction! Alright, these things happen. Um, yeah, just, um, let me have a look here. This guy... We should be okay to force march to there. I might be able to make it to Mount Greyhag. If I do that. 
Doesn't it trigger with the hero? With Imric or any Lord? No, you have to put a Lord. Item trading? Sorry, did I say item trading? I meant region trading. There's no item trading in Warhammer 3. If you put Warhammer 3 into Warhammer 2, it would be perfect. Yeah, as long as you leave out all the crap things in Warhammer 2. Minor city sieges, major city siege rework, the magic rework, the AI, keep all that in Warhammer 3. Um, all the changes made to like the Warhammer 2 factions, except for Norska and the Warriors of Chaos, leave that in Warhammer 3. There's some good stuff in Warhammer 3. There's also just a lot of bad stuff as well. Infused by Hoeth's wisdom. XP gain rate. Yep, that's actually a good, good point. Yep. I have no time for this. So let me just have a look at Clan Rictus Nest. All right, they're actually not that strong. It, it doesn't seem likely that they're going to do anything. All right, do I have to declare war on anyone else? Nope. We're all good. All right, if I recruit a lord here right now. Like, that's not going anywhere, but if I recruit a Lord here right now, I'm going to go broke. I, I need to, at the very least, defeat this army here, and then we can disband that. Because the garrison alone should be able to handle this. <laughs> I can't go on my dragon yet. I need money. Just broke. Fucking broke. In four years, Worma 3 will be as good as Worma 2. I don't think it'll take that long. It's just not straight away. How many battles did I lose so far? Oh, uh, I think it's about five. Five or six. We got our ass whooped in Ulthwan. Should never should have confederated um Um Kalidor. In fact, all of our de defeats happened out that way. Every single one of them. Ah damn it. Be ready for anything. Didn't have enough movement. I'm not, I'm not gonna use the movement bug. I know I could, but I'm not going to. For honor, smash it to ruins. I see the winds. So we're getting some influence now, so that's good. Prince of Calador. Not oh, like Man, they're fucking recruiting more units. Strategy beyond compare. You what? Calador's chap. Stop that. He might think that he can you take this on. Me. Uh, let me go put on the horse because that'll be a lot better than nothing. Our traditions give me strength. Alright, and to stand Witness my strength. There. In ambush dance. Yeah, and then we'll launch the attack and we'll... You know what? As you Let him come at me. Let him come at me. He might do it. The AI is pretty brazen. They might just do it. I think we'll have a better chance. Yeah, yeah, that'll be fine. Do you take me for a wazak? Uh, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. As soon as we there will be do a little bit more out here, Valiant. we'll um, we'll be able to disband this soon. Calador is set for triumph. Okay, got an idea. Got an idea. If I stand right here, they might jump in the underway so. to. To come and help. And then I can just lightning strike them next turn. Might even intercept them. The Alright, Shadowstone Isle. What do we need here? I need I need money. What do we got? No, I don't need that. Get Yeah, I need I need cash. We don't have a growth building here, but we do have this one that does provide decent growth. Uh, I just need cash. I'm just I'm just freaking broke.
Now I feel bad for convincing you to go to Ulta One. It was my decision. Like, I just wanted to make that interesting for you guys. Because I knew that it didn't matter whether or not I succeeded or failed in Ulta One. It just didn't matter. Um, but if you guys got a kick out of it, then that was what's important. I kind of wish I could have stayed there fighting a little bit longer. It would have been more interesting. But we got there and there was just nothing for us. There was... We, there's just nothing we could do. Alright. Well, they didn't make the attack. We're not going to need you anymore. No. I don't think. Our cause is noble. Yeah, don't, don't need you anymore. Strategy beyond compare. Hang on a second. Bring uh, Balder did a five dollar submission. Hey brother, just dishing my usual five dollar cry for attention. Lol. Watched your stream yesterday. Problem is the, the game, not you. You're still no ten out of ten, man. Alright, thanks, dude. I appreciate I that. Decree death. Yeah, that does make me do feel a lot better. As long as it's not my fault. If it's not my fault, I can't do anything about it. But sometimes I, I wonder if it is my fault. I will share my experience. Oh, yeah, there we go. Much better money. And now we can afford to put the Lord over here. I think I got a... Um, yeah, you'll do. Of All you gotta do is just come over here and... Pop it down. Buildings are different than Wormer 3? Uh, fundamentally, no. Slight changes. That's not, it's just rebalancing due to Warhammer 3's slight changes of any econ economy. Uh, for the most part, the buildings are fine. In fact, in most cases, they actually improve that stuff a fair bit. Don't need a fantastic checkerboard, I think. Just, that'll do. So what are we going to do? Take a defensive position? Nope, they're coming for us. Okay, that's fine. Now, we're outnumbered here. But I don't think that's going to be a problem. Okay, wait until they start shooting at us before we pop this down. Otherwise, they'll just... Well, this is Wednesday. Oh yeah. I will go. Nice. Wielder of the winds. Uh what am I doing that for? They're fucking armored. Keep using flamestorm. Fire magic. So good. So this one here is just providing distractions to a bunch of their units. So when they come over here, see how disorganized their army is? They're just they're just straight up screwed. Get back in. I can get a handle that. Ulf one mage. 
Blessed by ball. Following Ethio. Glory is mine. Yes. Behold as I march. Wolf one mage. Noble born. Prince Imric. Quickly now. As your mage. Dauntless! On me! Keep being distracting. It's good. Noble Lord! Excellent! For the king! Noble Lord! Excellent! Mage! Archers! Done! Awaiting orders! Ready! Orders understood! As one, by your command, Good. Prince Imrik, master of battle. The Black Balador, noble, setting forth. Good, look at this. It, they, I don't think we're going to take a single casualty. Awaiting order. As one, Brown Prince moving. Never fail. The dragon's roar. Or well, maybe we will. Both one mage. Calidor's chosen. We go. On me. Archers. I seek glory. Both one mage. I haven't taken any casualties yet. Sorry that they were super that. easy to deal with. You're going in the book. Direct me. Yes, making my way. I will go. Noble. It is done. A superior bond. Asar Noble. Dragon Prince. Locating. Sent by the force. I seek glory. Doing my duty. Yeah, it's zero casualty, but uh, Imric's taking a bit of damage. Watch out over here. Duty. Taking position quickly now. Crown Prince moving. Both one mage. Lakoi Soraya. All right, don't let me take a casualty. Phoenix Sun. Seeking the foe. Moving the out. Forward. Oh, I think I did it without a single casualty. Nice. <laughs> nice. I'm pretty happy with how that went. Imri took a bit of damage, though. Close victory. Look at this idiot. Close victory. Hey, let you know you don't have any better infantry. Do you think that Warhammer 2 is a better game than Warhammer 3? Base game Warhammer 2, vastly better than base game Warhammer 3. Mortal Empires, slightly better than Immortal Empires. I glory wherever I fight. Alright, cool. And just I claim it for Kalidor. Ogres, my lord. These brutish nomads. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> Do I need to send a lord or a hero? Oh, with any lord. I forgot about ogre mercenaries. That system's better than what we I have in Warhammer 3. Reborn. Ogres, my lord. Ogres, my lord. Any relation bonus isn't really going to matter, so just go with industry, I suppose. Uh, 
The gods stand with me. Yeah, that's another one that I'm not going to send Imrek to go and do because he's got busy things to do. I'll I'll recruit another lord there later to get sorted out. Okay, um, get rid of this. Keep that. All right, Darkhold should survive. So let's wall up. Cool. Over here. Cool. And amount of money. But all good. Everything's. Glory awaits. You know, we're making baby steps. You know, how much territory do we have? What, 10 regions? Yeah, 10 regions. Not much. Give me strength. Baby steps. Alright, let's move on. Oh, fuck. I always forget to check. Yeah, I have to declare war on Grimgore. Come on, you can do it. Where do we put the line between cheese and exploit? Um, okay. Yeah, I, I've got a, like a definition for the three different, you know, uh, dishonorable maneuvers. Um, cheese, exploit, and cheat. Um, the, the way that I see them is... A, if we go in the other order, explain a cheat. A cheat is something where you just get like an instant gratification. It doesn't require you to put any effort in. It's like you go toggle foul and you get to see all of the fog of war go away, right? You go give me money 10,000, gives you $10,000. Use a mod to remove supply lines. Those are cheats, right? Gives you an instant bonus without you having to do any work. Exploit. That is where you do something like um, the movement bug, where it requires some degree of ep ex uh, like effort. You have to actually use the game mechanics to do something you're really, really not supposed to do. Like um, casting unlimited range or casting underneath a wall uh, with flamestorm, something like that. That's an exploit because you're doing something you're really not supposed to do. But there's this code that's sort of like, eh, that's a bit, you know, not, not quite very good. And so you just get away with it. Cheese, on the other hand, is doing something that is intended to a degree that isn't intended. So, for example, archers. Spamming archers. You weren't really supposed to spam the archers because there's an unintended consequence in that they're actually just really good if you do that. Um, same thing with Entrepreneur. Entrepreneur works exactly as it's supposed to, but doing it again and again and again and again and again, you end up getting a really powerful result. So, Cheese is doing stuff that has in intended consequences to a degree that uh, I guess uh, the developer didn't uh, foresee. If, if that makes sense. The three different definitions. So, you know, you could argue that archer spamming is cheese. Um, movement bug, exploit. No no supply line mod cheats. Again, I got no problem if you, you want to use those kind of mods or whatever. It's just defining that kind of stuff. Alright, so let's... Oh, right, right, right. I was like, why can't we move? approach me ha the fuck are they still doing alive Oh, for fuck's sake, he just called a war. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> not likely. No, I will not shame my Probably check over here. Alright, we're in the clear for now. Don't worry about the ogres just yet. Greatest of the dragon princes. Princess of Ulthran. Okay, so which one's this? Which dragon is this? 
the Black Dragon. Okay, um... I can't remember this battle at all. But if we challenge this battle... I will prove yeah. my royal blood. Yeah. Okay. We stand ready for action. So it's over here. Shackalock the calamity. Alright, I don't think we're ready to do that right this very second. But that is something to do. Don't think so. Brave son and then let's one. put a lord over here to go get those ogres. No, you don't ever be recruited again. You stay Master there. And we'll go get those ogres next turn. Uh, Imric could use another... Hang on. Mm, yeah, I guess I could leave that too. No, no, no. He's supposed to go and get influence. Alright, I want you to go scout out this way. Adventure awaits. The dragon shall wake. Two of them here is oh well, actually the emollient one. I'm supposed to do that as well. No, that's fine. Worry about that later. Okay. We are pure stable viewer account stream. Yeah, it's very stable. Very it's I'm very happy with uh with the outcome here. Look, I just want to entertain you guys. I can tell that this is entertaining you guys, so I'm happy Order with that. Yeah, there's nothing worse than coming here and live streaming something that you're not really that keen on only for people to to be like eh, i don't like this game very much or whatever it's really frustrating and that's what was happening for weeks with warhammer 3. you know i want people to enjoy what i'm doing otherwise why the fuck even show up and people weren't showing up so i clearly had to make a change just didn't know what um i'm out of money All right, I think we're good to go. Let's move on. So we should finally get rid of Clan Helheim, and then we're going to be fighting Grimgor. Yeah, <laughs> fighting Grimgor. That's going to be easy. Well, he's got a war going on. At least I can lightning strike him. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> Can't you bugger off for a little bit? Okay, here's what we do. We let them take Mount Greyhag. Just let them take it. I'll go get the ogres, that's what I came here for. We need to finish off this army over here. While I can hit this one, this turn, by force marching Imric over here. Doing that gives these guys here time to get organized. Whereas, if this guy attacks Mount Greyhag, who cares? Master of high magic. The Asor are ill prepared. Mm -hmm. And then what do we got here? Wisdom. This is a life wizard. If we attack this, nah, don't bother Bobo. doing something like that. Off you go. Son of the Phoenix. I await your command. This one more time. Smash it to Good. And Awaiting you orders. come up over here. Cool. This way we can see when Grimgore is deciding to come and attack us. Now it's time to get rid of these guys. Dragon strike. Kiss that stream was fun in my opinion. It was fun, but that's like one of the only campaigns in the game that's actually kind of challenging. That's why it went on for as long as we did, and I continued playing it afterwards as well. I'll win. I always do. Calador could use a little gold. But yeah, having played this again, Warhammer 2, I really don't miss Minor City Sieges, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I don't actually miss them. I don't mind Minor City Sieges, but I also don't miss them. So that's not really good.
Says the guy with consistent 1,000 viewers, while all the War Matu streamers get barely around 100. Y yeah, well... Honest, honestly, though, any of those guys could get the number of viewers that I get. I'm just a try-hard. They just don't, they, don't, they don't, don't try as hard as I do, that's all. They don't... All of them have enough talent to, to be a great streamer, but it's not just about talent, it's about sheer willpower, and that's not easy to, to like, to have. And a lot of, like, if you ask a lot of them, they don't, they don't envy me. <laughs> they, they, in many ways, I think they pity me. Do we? No. Although doing it from an angle is Archers. not the worst thing ever. What if we do it from over here, like this? Because we got Vanguard to blow in all of them. Brave and true. Because that way, when they deploy, units over here will take forever to get over here, which is a good thing for us. need to give her a mount of some kind to speed up a bit. Yeah, you're gonna retire soon? Yeah, and uh, that will uh, very, very adversely affect the stream numbers. <laughs> yeah, that, that'll have a very severe uh, outcome on that. Yeah, no, no, you shouldn't use breath attacks while you're getting shot. Bad idea. Making my way. Saint Louis, Orion, Saint Louis. Outward mage. Crown prince moving. The crown prince ascends. Streaming sounds fun, and I believe I could do it, due to ambition and self-discipline. Uh, chat seems like it would be a headache finding something worth responding to. Mm. Yeah, well, everybody, every streamer is going to have that problem with dealing with chat, unless you completely ignore it. But if you're, if you're one of those streamers that completely ignore your chat, you better be bloody good at the game, you know? There are streamers out there that don't read their chat at all, and they, they do get good viewers, but they, that you better be really, really fucking good. Um, because I think a lot of times with, um, with, with streaming, people who show up live are looking for a sense of community, but also, you know, some degree of interaction. But people who watch VODs, they don't give a fuck about that, which is why I oftentimes get complaints from people who watch VODs being like, ah, I wish you'd stop answering the chat so much and reading out super chats and just play the fucking game. Uh, because they don't actually want to watch a live stream, they want to watch a let's play. The thing is, this is a live stream. It's not a, it's not a, um, pre-recorded or a live recording of a let's play. It's not that. 
So that's why I don't really give a shit about what the people that w in the who only watch the vods want in that regard because that's not what this is about. Alright, Emrick's taking too much damage. Anyway, Hi, mage. Locating. no, I shouldn't use that I while being shot. It. Bad idea. The light of Calador going abroad. Orders. I'm gonna take a casualty. <laughs> oh wait, 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 wait. No, I didn't. There we go. No casualties again. Zero deaths and zero defeats. You know this time. Maybe I'm weird, but watching VODs of a live stream is uninteresting to me. Even if I was watching live and had to go, I won't back and finish. And if I have to pause for some reason, I jump ahead to live. Yeah. Well, but it doesn't matter how people want to watch my content. That's actually a really good point. I don't dictate to people how they should watch my content. Okay? You know how Creative Assembly is like... <laughs> Yeah, we want people to play this game exactly the same way each time they play a certain campaign. You know, get rid of the number of, of um, play styles. Join the kingdom of Dragon. I don't care how people want to choose to uh, consume my content. I don't. I don't care if you want to download it on your phone, watch it on your TV, watch it on the toilet, watch it to go to sleep, watch it live, watch it as a vod. Don't watch it, but listen. Don't listen, but watch it. Fucking don't watch it at all, but take screenshots. I don't care. That's up to you. Um, Calador wakes. Sir Cavier Porus Ellis at a twenty euro super chat. Great campaign. Have fun, legend. All right, thanks, dude. Yep, I'm enjoying this. Wish I'd stayed in North One though. No. Alright, we got a great eagle. I like eagles. I'm gonna do it. I used to hate eagles, but now I actually like them. Ever since I learned how to swoop. Just in case I ever need to block again. Alright, so fully expect to lose Mount Greyhag, but what we're trying to do here is... Um, Uh, just buy us some time so they don't like come down over here and annoy us over this way. Order must be maintained. I await your command.
Born to lead. Five turns. Noble lord. Seven turns. You are fired. You may look upon me. Noble son of Ulthuan. Oh yeah, give me that emollient. Alright, so let's upgrade Dragon Fang Mount because there's the most amount of value out of that province there. That region. Even if it isn't green territory. Yep. And I got two surplus here as well. Well, can't build everywhere. Just don't have the money for it. The dragon shall wake. Mm -hmm. At least I didn't touch a million and conscientious of Wormer 3. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's that is good. Imagine if they got rid of all the good traits. All right, let's have a look here. And uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. So this one here, good. We finally secured our initial province. Let's grab that. And next priority, I suppose, is to try to take out um, Clan Richter's nest. Foolish thing! No. So yeah, they should hit Mount Greyhag. Damn it! Karakazul being destroyed means that Grimgore will be turning around to deal with me. Yep, this is fine. This is fine. A strong leader is needed. <sighs> Why do they do that? <laughs> your conquests strike fear into the hearts of your enemies, mighty lord. The wisest amongst them will know that. All right. I, oh, excuse me. I imagine that we'll be seeing friggin' Grim. Oh my! This doesn't happen in Warhammer Three. This does not happen. You know, without it being an in-game crisis. But then again, look at this as well. And look at yes. this as well. Look at this. I'm strength ranking eighty. <laughs> it's turn thirty-two. Standing by. Crown Prince, you have my attention. All right, trying to get assassinated, but come up over here. Onward then. And you Standing go that by. way. Dragon Prince. Funny thing is, is this one here should be going around securing influence as well. It's just that I'm training him up in the army because I only need one noble, really. Um, only lies in a bottle of shit. I always find your name so funny. Did a five euro super chat. Is Imric one of the easiest this is total war runs because he is from a strong race and very isolated? No. <laughs> no. Um, I'd say that Skaven, typically speaking, are, are a stronger um, this is total war campaign because they benefit so much from fighting lots of enemies. Um, no high elves benefit from this is total war campaigns, even if you're in a corner. And uh, the thing is, being a this is total war campaign, your start is actually quite difficult because um, you've got to go and take out Eshin straight away. If you don't do that, if you don't do what I did, you're fucked. You know, you got to make some really tough choices very early on and cheese the shit out of it. I mean, by all means, give this as Total War Imric a shot and uh, see how you go with it. But Imric has typically speaking been one of the most... One of the... Right. Uh, one of the most uh, difficult um, campaigns, period. The 
the Oath Keeper. All right, uh, let's see here. Just trying to decide what we need to do. Uh, champion. They could potentially attack us from here, but they probably won't try because their chance of ambushing us would be very low. Unless we force march, and even then, we could probably even win an auto resolve. Not enough warp stone. Their army's not that strong at all. You may look upon me. I won't be able to block them. I'm just too far away. Pride of Ulswine. Hmm. Because I reckon what this dude is going to try to do is go all the way around here instead. No, blame you, you. If I go into ambush stance over here, he might ruin Dwell it. It's the only thing I can think that he might do. Boundless courage. But then I'll send Michaela to go chase after him, just in case to go and block him. The winds guide me. Just in case. Might take a few turns to catch up, but yeah. So what we're doing here is hoping that he comes over here and ruin dwells it. Because according to this... I won't make it there, but at least he'll be close enough for us to, to catch. Noble son of Ulthuan. Any plans on new Tealess videos? Not for Warhammer 3. Not at the moment. I'm just going to stick to disaster battles and doomstack videos for the time being. I'm, gonna, I'm taking a little bit of break from tier lists. Alright, Flayed Rock. Let's up, uh, actually do the Shattered Cove because there's a port there. The people are rested. What about Marathi? Uh, it's too far away. Nothing to worry about there. Dragon shall wake. All right, I can't see anything else here that needs to be done. I do really, really want to fight this battle. I just got to stay in good shape, and those battles usually Dragon fuck up your army a fair bit. Once we've got things a little bit calmed down, then we can go for it. Uh. Look, they have no chance of starting a fight with us, so I'm gonna go off the dragon. We need to save money. You try to save money, because I'm just not oh, making. Okay, we can actually justify building that now. It's not too bad. And let's move on. Peter Gazinia. Oh shit. Uh, did a ten dollar super chat. Is there an Imric IE campaign in the foreseeable future? Here for all the content, regardless. Give it up, brother. No, no plans for that. Good, they did that. That's what we wanted to see. Now they wouldn't have done that if we hadn't ambush danced. But I got as close as I could. I don't know if I'll actually make it there without using a movement bug. The last phoenix. Be ready for anything. Yeah, I can't make it there without using Follow the moving bug. Alright, well, we got this one coming in. So... Forward at once. We might end up losing Ashridge Mountain. Glory awaits. Ready. Like I said, here the green skins wouldn't come out. He's not going to get here this turn. But he'll probably get there next turn. Um, Alright, walling this settlement up here could be good, the dark hold, because it's not safe yet. Uh, upgrading this one here would provide us with the ability to recruit dragon princes, which eh, I don't care about dragon princes. Reduce upkeep costs for dragons and dragon princes. Provide another dragon prince in the garrison. Yeah, that's a good building, let's do that. And then over here, let's try to focus a bit more on growth. And I do think I need to wall this up. We are ill at ease. All 
Okay. Yeah, I just couldn't make it there. Seeking glory. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna deal with this. I mean, I can get there if I um, if I use the movement bug, but I'm, I'm not gonna do that. I really want to go and fight that, but I, I kind of feel like I need to be ready over here to uh, catch these guys. At the end of the day, this one here did just... Um, ruin Dweller Settlement. They'll probably be there for a couple of turns. But this army here could cause all kinds of problems for us. That one there is not that big of a deal. So I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to go into Ambush Dance. And bring you back over. Oh, what I could do is block that army. No, I need my wizard. I need my wizard over here. And then, just in case we have to fight a battle, let's get on Min Aeth near. Yeah, I, I gotta deal with this one. This is this is more of a threat. Unfortunately, we can't do both. If I could have reached there that turn, I would have gone for it, but I didn't. Oh well. Oh well. People are restive. Just gotta make do. Okay, and let's move on. We still can't afford a second army yet. This is a really small army. Need another army? Yeah, I just can't afford it. It's the problem. Like they went to war with each other. Hang on, did I declare war on everyone? I forgot to declare war on Skullcrag. Yeah, sometimes this happens. I just forget to declare war on someone. Got to go back and do that. Hey Legion, how do you siege Azikaclaw? Weapon teams never seem to shoot. Have you tried getting good? No, I'm just kidding. It's finicky. It's finicky. Typically speaking, you've got... Okay. Um, you've got Warp Lightning if you want to use that. Um, putting him on a Doom Flayer helps a lot. You've, you should put a Plague Priest in his army for Plague, if you can get that. Poison Wind Mortars are amazing for Sieges. Plague Claw Catapults are amazing for Sieges. Uh, create a Breach if you can. Don't mess with me. Watch your me yeah, there's lots of things that you can do to be, uh, to do well with Sieges as Skaven. You just gotta... You just gotta figure it out, I guess. Alright, we got you. Hopefully, Chief Doomclaw stays there for another turn. Likely, though, we'll be pretty be damn worn out after that battle. Yeah, can't ambush attack anymore. Could actually use lightning strike. Be ready for anything. I await your command. There will be carnage. Cool. That one just stay there. Keep securing influence for the time being. Same Noble thing with you over here. Honorably done. Good for experience. And what we can do here is check to see if... Okay, see how they got a military presence of six? That's how we know they haven't yet moved. Ah, uh, they may have actually, because they've got a fairly strong army somewhere. They may have started moving. Fuck's sake. <laughs> God damn Rictus Nest, this is annoying to deal with as Eshin. Anyway, these ones here. Hopefully this will buy us a few turns until more greenskins come, but I imagine if we're going to be plugging these fucking mountains with the dead of greenskins. Well, wow, that's actually a pretty damn good auto-resolve. Yeah, those are fucking trolls. That's that's pretty good. Let us wake the that's dragon. really good. Shit, I'll take that. 
their masters may see worth it. Greatest all right. of the dragon princes. All right, all right, all right, sir. You must restore order. I still feel like Pig Butter has a really good chance of falling. All right, what I want to do here is recruit a lord at Pig Butter, not you. Must. And what I do with it is basically use it as a sort of alert. Next turn, we just force march over in this direction just to see if the um, the uh, army's out this way because I just don't know. Uh, Imric's in pretty good shape, but he does need some time to recover now. I think what we should do is stand here in ambush stance. That way, there's a chance that their armies might come over this way, rather than that way. We don't want them to go this way. We want them to come over this way, because this, this region here is fairly undefended. The AI likes undefended settlements, so that's what we want them to do. Alright, if we have a look here. Grimgore, yeah, we barely even touched him with that. Ugh. Alright. At least it was worth a lot of loot money, which is nice. Alright, what are we doing here? So eventually we... Definitely gonna want Sky Master. But what are some other things we can get here? Missile resistance would be good. Watch Mana Lords for a bit, got bored, came back. Mana Lords demo doesn't have a whole lot of content to to showcase. Oh right. Send this wizard to go and scout ahead. See if we can find her. I uh, find them as well. The Yeah, yeah, she's fine. If I could block him, that'd be good. I just I gotta catch the fucker. And shit, you go on ahead as well. With purpose. And if I use one of them to search the ruin and the other one to block. Yeah, yeah. And you need to actually get out of the army and get back into it to rehash the uh, replenishment bonus. Okay. Okay. I find with Imric I'm trying to keep in the good grace of the Lizard Razor so I can trade with him early game. Yeah, that you could definitely do that for sure. Um, I, I don't really have that option in this campaign though. Great, more enemies. All right, and let's move on. We got a bit of money in reserve now, so that's good. Declare war on Skarsnik. Yeah, I did that. Thanks. What's the best agent action against army in your opinion? Block army. <gasps> gotcha! We gotcha, you shit. Right, that wasn't him. Doesn't matter, get him. I, win. I always do. Ah, uh, ambush dance. Coming through nicely there. They are shooting. Okay. Outpost giving influence is one of the few good changes to High Elves and Worm 3. Yeah, but at the same time, getting influence isn't a problem. Well, not really. Alright, at least we know where he is. He he jumped down over here. At least we know where he is. Um, if he was to attack Darkhold, I don't think he'll win. Alright, let me just force march you around over here. I just need to know if anyone's coming. There isn't. Okay, good. You stay there. Okay, Emollient, you stay here, search that ruin. Because it's time for you to start picking up some what do you require? some stuff. Alright, alright. How are we gonna catch this dipshit? Foolish thing! No! 
Um, Anthony Luck did a 25 HK super chat. Oxyodel's more fun than I thought. Jumping around the map, I guess it's better to be start faction than to confed. No wonder it's bottom two in legendary lord list. Yep. Sure. Thanks for the chat. Appreciate it. Oh uh, shit. Public order over here fell apart. The Why? What's wrong with this? Restive. No public order buildings. Not enough emollient characters. I'm gonna have to have one turn on, one turn off. I can't deal with a revolt. Well, I actually do have a public order building. Not worth recruiting a lord there. Alright, I need to put a lord here. So that... Yeah, you'll do. So that if this guy runs over here, we can actually catch him. He's got 17 units, Imrit's got 18. If I force march over here... Got a good chance of getting ambushed. Your aid. Smash it to ruins. Noble Lord. Destruction. Good. Getting that influence in there, that's good. You have my attention. Dragon Rider. do now. How am I going to catch you? Think me fool, fool. I smell the rodent here. <sighs> big risk. Big, big risk, but I'm going to take it. Make haste, big fucking risk. Lies this way. Oh my god, Legend is going to force march in front of the enemy. Okay, by doing this, if he jumps in the underway, we should catch him. If he runs over here, we should catch him. Master of High Especially Magic. if I do something like this. High Elven Archmage. No, nah, he won't, it. won't block him. Mage of uh, I was thinking, should you go around over here? Just in case he actually manages to force march his way around over here. Um, if he attacks Darkhold, we'll win. I'm fairly sure. So yeah, this could... This is a risky move. This is a risky move. But I, I think even if we get ambushed, which there is a chance of. There is a chance of it. Um, that we should still be able to beat it just because it's mostly just clan rats. Even if they are gold tier experience, even though they've probably never fought a battle before. Alright, this mansion here should be okay to upgrade now. And, yep, that's all fine. Fine. I would upgrade this. It's only, it's only an extra 9 growth. It's not a lot. It's 900. Alright, let's do it. Wait, I forgot. Did I check for new war declarations to make? All good. Now we just see what happens. Hopefully we catch him, but if we don't, we'll, we'll figure something out. Ah, gotcha. Gotcha. Paid off. These fools have no chance. Got him. The rat has been Calador caught. So we made the right call there. Can you make other factions declare war on your current enemies before you declare war on them? Sometimes. Uh, I haven't really been bothered to try that in this campaign, but you normally can. At least attempt it. Alright, now if we have a look at them. Alright, we just cleared out all their armies. We need to push for Crookback Mountain right now. Before they recruit another army. Well, I need to get the Mount Greyhag first. I don't want to leave this hanging. What? Hang on. What if... What if... We leave Mount... What if we, instead of going for Mount Greyhag, we go for Crookback Mountain, we'll get there a few turns earlier, 
and I will send like a lord from Ashridge Mountain around that way because I only need a few units. What orders? Moving. This is against tradition. Greatest of the dragon princes. I'm fairly sure there's no green skins coming through here. <laughs> fairly sure. Uh, but let's just let's just go into Ashridge Mountain just in case. All right, and then. Okay, we can turn on the taxes over here this turn. The Asser of Trouble. Money? I was making more than this before. What's going on? Red Shrew Crime Mounts and Unencountered Dwarves. Doesn't matter if we encounter dwarves. Doesn't matter, we'll just fight them. They're fighting the Greenskins. Alright, let's block this. 73% chance, and... <laughs> piece of shit. Prince of Calador. Standing by. God, she loves to fail. Noble son of Ulthuan. The council is disappointed. All right. Well. Dragon shall wake. We can recruit four units. Hmm. Going around this way here is a lot longer than going around that way there. Maybe just don't do it this turn. Just leave it. I'll disband it, but let me just check what's going on over here. Unfathomable yeah. knowledge. You have a right for public order? Ah, oh, thanks. No, I don't. I've got this one here, which I don't need. Two more turns until that. So yeah, this should be okay... ...for a turn. Need more emollient characters. You must restore order. Good. More money over here. This will be good. Okay, so Shattered Cove should be pretty safe. I, don't, I shouldn't need to build walls here, so let's just go with the money. Actually, go with growth here. Because I need to, I need to get to tier 4. We're going to get some more heroes. Falling behind here. Actually, we should research the trade advances first, I think. That would be really handy, so just get that done. can always get rid of that. What's this? Archive. Yeah, build this one. Wait, we don't have any resource buildings, so don't don't bother. Just because yeah, we can't research any of these yet. The rodents approach. Okay. All right, let's move on. The ring around the Rosie with these mountains drives me crazy since you're facing all underway stance users. Yeah, it's a shit place to start for High Elves. It, if you were Nagareth, it'd be okay. But for the High Elves, this is a fucking garbage place to be. Just encounter Clan Moors. Great. We will stop this plane. The people are resting. We are pure of heart. No, you fail failed. Can you for once not fucking fail? Can you just once? They shall know suffering. Finally, okay. So this time, this one's not going very far. Noble, what do you require? 
Alright, I got 16 turns of this. I just want to check to make sure nothing just jumped over here. Your quest. Same thing over here. Adventure awaits. Okay, we should be in the clear. What I want to do is... I was going to recruit a new army to come over here, but... I'm going to force march Imrik to make sure this one here just can't get away. Bloody annoying son of a bitch. This will be child's play. Mage. There will be carnage. Okay. I will continue soon. Okay, we should be in the clear out here. Okay, we need to build an archive so that we can unlock new techs new text because we're about to finish the ones that we're currently doing um i actually have a fair amount of influence i could get an administrator but then i probably wouldn't be able to build this anyway it won't increase my capacity for them doesn't matter just do it I need to get those texts sorted the Asher are troubled. orders No immortality for you, sorry, Michaela. Maybe, maybe later, we'll see. I'm unlikely to get her killed, but we'll see. Alright, uh, yeah, get that. Calador's champion. Build public order and dragon eyes instead of growth? Yes, that's a good point. Thank you, dude. Oh. We are ill at ease. Yeah, if we build this, then once that's built, we we can permanently tax it. So yeah, you're absolutely right there. Thanks. Alright. So hopefully this army here doesn't try to move. We'll see. Oh shit, hang on. I think I discovered Clan Moors. Fucking hell. I'm, I think I'm just really tired. I <laughs> just keep forgetting. <laughs> Gotta to remember to declare war at the end of these turns. Are you running a mod that makes them not auto gain immortality? No, that's only in Warhammer 3 that happens. It doesn't happen in Warhammer 2. I just want to see Tyrion come from Ulfwant to kill you. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that'll happen. He's at war with Marathi now. He's likely going to get bogged down. What about people who only played Wormer 3 think of Wormer 2? I do think that currently a lot of people who are playing Wormer 3 are like really new to... to um, are just like newbie at it. I don't think a lot of experts are playing, like, people who are, are particularly good at Total War games, I don't think a lot of them are playing Warhammer 3. It doesn't offer any serious challenge. So, it, oh my god, I'm just not getting a break. At least, at least we can get this. You have my attention. Smash it to ruins. Loyalty is all. I await your command. Hmm. Yeah, we've just been running around in circles for a while now. No, Gracie, never wrong. Son of Ulfwood. Your quest. Yeah, okay. Alright, I might... 
Might send you over here. I don't need her to win this fight over here. But I might need to block this army, which she has a reasonable chance of success at. Crown Prince. They will know Kalador's name. Okay. You might see us now now. I am ready. Tormentor sword, that's good. What do you require? Alright, and send this one up through here. Purpose. Greatest of the dragon princes. Is that again? Okay, okay. So let's pop this down here. What school did you go to, Legend? Uh, crap school. Nah. I'm not gonna talk about that kind of stuff. Alright, Pig Barter could build walls. Maybe back up from nice. I really want to get this province here growing. So looking at them again. Yeah, they haven't built up anything, so we still got. We're still okay there. And yeah, Grimgors is gonna send war after war after war over here, and I just can't afford another army yet. I guess we're just gonna have to try to plug um, these guys through these gaps. Direct me. The Asher are troubled. Kalidor's champion. Oh yeah, I'm getting real tired. I think it's time to wrap things up in a minute. Okay, okay, okay. How much would that give us? Yeah, nah, not doing that. Not right now. Yeah, get that speed. Cool. And you get that missile resistance. You may look upon me. Just get one unit. The people are resting. God, I hope I'm not stuck here for the next 40 turns, just like, playing whack-a-mole with the green skins. <laughs> this sometimes happens in this Total War campaigns, where you just end up in a, just a whack-a-mole situation. But eventually, eventually, these provinces here will grow, I'll have more money, and I'll be able to actually afford another stack. And they're like, I've got a bit of money here, but um, you gotta keep in mind, as soon as I recruit another lord, we instantly lose like a thousand gold. And, um, that's just not enough to recruit an army. I can have a half stack, which isn't going to do anything. So I might as well have this money. Keep training up in Imric. Maybe we can do this kind of stuff? I'm not sure. This stuff over here is growing as well. At the very least, we'll get lots of loot money, so I can put it back into these provinces. Just try not to let these settlements degrade. And if we have a look over here, Grimgore is at war with a lot of other people. If I don't like what you he's... Say. Mork will be eating your guts tonight. Yeah, he's on the cusp of capturing Karaz and Karak by the look of it. You can tell which regions they own. Yeah, Karaz and Karak looks like it's falling, and that's fine. Although I would like to research rate bonuses. Um, let's have a look at Tyrion, right? Alarion's he champion. doesn't hate us, but... You are no kin of mine. Hmm. Fuck me, Broken Axe is still alive. Oh my god, if we had stayed here, that could have been really handy. Farming Grom. The fact that Grom has lived to turn 38 is absolutely absurd. I actually kind of hope Grom, like, smashes his ass. Well, we'll see. Alright, I've done everything I can here. Let's just check if any more wars. No, all good, let's move on. And I think it's time to wrap things up. Not because we're not having fun, but because I'm actually really tired. And when I get tired, I get very susceptible to being cranky. I need I need to get my baby sleep. Because I'm a big, big fucking baby. 
Alright, let's go check the host over to someone. Are you allowed to confederate? Yeah, we can confederate, but we have to um, be at war with them up until that moment. So, being at war with them makes it very difficult to confederate. Um, Alright, let's go check our host over to someone. Alright, I doubt anyone is streaming Warhammer 2, but I'll just have a go, have a quick look. Uh, it does not look like anybody is live streaming Warhammer 2, so we'll chuck somebody a host who's playing Warhammer 3. And let's send it over to... Let's send it over to Anticity, who is also doing a This Is Total War campaign. Seems like he's finally got his This Is Total War campaign as Carl Franz under control. Yeah, that campaign is... That that one is, would be more difficult than this one, for sure. Um... Alright, let's chuck a host over to him. I'm going to go get some rest. I will be continuing this next time I stream, which might be tomorrow, or it might not be. I'm not sure yet. Um, but yeah, appreciate all the support today, guys. I hope you're enjoying it. I'm enjoying it, as much as I don't like doing this Total War campaigns. Um, we're in a bit of a slog over here, so Grimgore is the target for next time. See what we can do against him. Anyway, that's into this one. Appreciate all the support, and I will see you next time, fuckers. Bye.